George Bush did the original assault weapons ban. President George H.W. Bush banned all imports of semi-automatic rifles in March 1989 and made the ban permanent in July 1989. That was long, long, long before fucking Clinton, right? And the writers were fucking furious about this and i tell the lefties all the fucking time or whatever i mean well not lefties but democrats i tell democrats all the fucking time that they're not gonna let go of the gun or the abortion thing they're not just they're just not gonna do it you need to learn that half this country li likes guns and despises abortions just just like the other half of the country do doesn't like guns and loves abortions or whatever right it's it's just two two sides of two different fucking issues that are are just you know different views on the same fucking thing by John Jackson or Jack Johnson the the the, the average shitty republicrats thinks thinks the exact same thing in reverse they're all just the same fucking carbon copies you know they're all just cookie cutters and shit and like so now like they've been fucked by both sides George H W Bush and Clinton banned their lovely semi automatic and full blown uh you know full blown assault weapon ban right. And so now, like, recreational firearms in America have been fucked. And, and, I'm, and I'm sympathetic to this, you know? I'm sympathetic because, particularly, I have to live in the country with them, and they are 50% of the country. I think most of the people in the Democratic Party consider them to be aliens that shouldn't be worked with or dealt with or something like that. But, I mean, these are our fellow fucking Americans, just like the left, you know what I'm saying? So whatever, like we have to work with everybody here. It's so stupid. And both sides banned all the goddamn rifles. So then you get your writer and lefter progressives who still own firearms, who are watching Alex Jones for the last 10 fucking years. And those are the people that Alex Jones are trying to protect and serve like some kind of cop when he says that it's a hoax, right? And this is not something that, 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 you know, that he wanted to go battle the parents over. If he doesn't say that, his own fucking constituents that have booked him and made him rich and made him able to buy those pills that he's addicted to and that alcohol that he's drinking and all that shit that he's on and like fucking you know and he has to go represent their fucking interests they believe that the government sometimes runs government ops and kills kids to push assault weapons bans they believe this you can go google it if you don't think i'm if you think i'm full of shit they believe it they believe it they believe these things i've met many of them who will, t who will say it right to your fucking face that's all alex jones was doing is just telling the world their story unfortunately the true crazy is there in the fucking woodwork the people who are fucking like convinced that the government ran some kind of SWAT op and had some CIA assassin run up in there and slay like 23 kids or whatever it was not to just be disrespectful to the kids I just don't remember the number and I don't want to remember it's it's something out of fucking hell that uh, whole thing the whole thing was out of hell it's the worst thing that's ever happened in this goddamn country as well short of of course World War II so then, you know, uh, so now we've been, we've been fucked by, but by the Republicans on both sides, both George HW Bush and Clinton ran, ran semi-automatic rifle bans and all this. And I, you know, I own guns, but I don't, you know, I don't like live in the gun owning sphere sort of thing. I don't think about guns all the time. I just keep them in a safe and I fucking move on with my life. You know, I don't think about them. I clean them when they need to be cleaned and I, and I don't shoot them. I just wait for any problems like, like I do in the games. You know, I don't go pushing owl gas, no brakes or anything. I just wait for any problems and I sit and I wait. And, and like and, and so th this this thing uh, like like tore them apart it tore it tore both parties apart the abortion gun control thing tore both parties apart and they ran the congress into the fucking ground subsequently it did nothing for 50 years and shit so now like i don't know like i i like sure cancel alex jones and fuck him for that weird 1.5 billion some kind of crazy like like weird made-up figure by some judge that that I, I know that alex jones does not have 1.5 billion dollars or whatever the fuck neither does this company so like i don't, I don't even know where that number came from and i believe he should have been fucked in in, in the ass and sent to prison and, and like yelled at and fucking de de disgraced and canceled in the public and all this such shit that did happen to him right but you got to remember He's just the fucking mouthpiece to the fucking American Taliban, the fucking, you know, the GOP. He's just the, you know, he's he's just the, you know, he's the he's the He's the Tea Party, you know, he's the he's the fucking him and Rush Limbaugh are like the fucking the mouthpieces to the fucking American Taliban, the Tea Party and shit. He can't say that it's not a hoax because all those crazies believe it. 
and he won't back down in public either. I have some sympathy for what the man has to deal with. If he backs down from those right wingers who fucking backed him for 20 fucking years, they'll make death threats on his fucking family with all those guns they have. You know, I am sympathetic to some of the problems that he has. He's a fucking idiot, but I mean, like, all he's doing is parroting what they've been saying for 10 years. I'm dead serious. Since, since goddamn Columbine, they've been saying that that's an inside job, all that shit. I'm dead serious. They've been saying that for a long fucking time, you know? Even though you didn't kill the kids. You guys didn't live in the progressive scene for fucking, as, as a punker for 23 years. I did. I fucking listened to all this shit. I knew what all the progressives thought. I knew what every, all their little crazy schemes and all their fucking beliefs and stuff. I, I know all of it, every bit of it. And like, and, 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 and understand, like, just like Tucker Carlson or fucking, you know, Rachel Maddow, fucking stupid alex jones has to back the people who put him who put him up in front of that camera for 20 fucking years it's not really his fucking option so we can like throw some crazy dollar amount of 1.5 billion does johnny depp even have 1.5 billion dollars what the fuck was with that judge like you know i could see a nice 200 million dollar payment to the fucking families or something but who the fuck has 1.5 billion for some court settlement who isn't a a fucking you know a fucking rothschild or something like that fucking alex jones does not have fucking one kanye west doesn't even have 1.5 billion dollars i don't think kim might but i don't think kanye does oh none of these people not even tucker has 1.5 billion dollars whatever that judge was on that turned it into a kangaroo core too on top of it and he went screaming out of that court like it was a kangaroo court because it was a kangaroo court they said 1.5 billion dollars and the entire fucking world started leaning back and laughing like like a fucking troll meme like the entire world was like ha ha started smacking their foreheads 1.5 billion dollars did they even charge that to oj simpson i mean who the fuck pays 1.5 billion dollars for a legal charge you know, I'm going to make that a bigger deal than it actually is. But, I mean, who the fuck has ever had a $1.5 billion judgment against them if they're a personal entity? When has one person ever had a $1.5 billion lawsuit leveled against them, right? Maybe it happens more than I think. I'm sure it does. And a lot of it probably gets settled out outside of court where we don't know what's go- what, what goes on. It's not, a matter of, it's not a matter of public record, but, I mean, who the fuck... Who the fuck I mean, who the fuck has a billion and a half for some kind of fucking, some kind of court settlement? That's pu- that's punitive on a on a level that that I believe, frankly, just violated his fucking right. The the fucking amendments we just read the amend- the the amendments simple right, amendments simple right. We look at the simple amendments again right. Uh, cause I don't want to read all the fucking legalese. I just want the breakdown again. Right. Simplify. Right. But we just read one about this. It's cruel and unusual fucking punishment. Right. Number eight, they're violating his, his eighth amendment rights. They are no excessive bail or cruel, pun- cruel punishment. Alex Jones has not killed or raped anybody. You gave him $1.5 billion cruel punishment and violated his Eighth Amendment rights. He has every right to scream about you in this, about this in fucking public, but he's not. He just took it up the fucking ass and shut the fuck up and started crying and freaking out like what probably anybody else would. But I mean, nobody has ever received a $1.5 billion cruel punishment like that in the history of America before. For what? Saying some shit on a microphone? I mean, I could see 1.5 billion for some rape or some murder or some genocide or maybe like a conspiracy to commit like a bunch of rapes, like like when when like you know when like uh, in vitro doctors go crazy and put their sperm in a bunch of, of fucking eggs and shit like that, stuff like that. I could see a billion dollar fucking payout if there's like 50 or 100 people affected and all these families and stuff. Maybe in like that movie Dark Waters, I could see a billion dollar payout and shit like that about the the fucking the the, the poison water from the dupont plant in in in, uh, michigan or whatever it was right i could see a fucking payment for that sort of shit where they they're dumping poison in the fucking river and they kill the entire town like flint michigan and shit i could see a billion and a half payment for that but but fucking talking on a microphone with no physical victims i think that judge is actually maybe worse than alex jones i think a judge willing to violate the eighth amendment like that so fucking willingly you know 1.5 billion on a non-violent charge i believe that it is a very clear violation of his eighth amendment rights you know i'm sorry and i'm not defending him because i fucking like him or like what he said or did i'm saying nobody's ever got a 1.5 billion judgment in a non-violent case before 
And I guess we do have to fucking punish him for his behavior, but you don't think that a, two, a serious $250 million settlement might have made, like, less kangaroo court sense? You know? 1.5 or whatever it was? Shit! I mean, that, I mean... It doesn't mean that you killed the kids. It means you did something else just as bad kind of terrible yeah you did something else terrible that they fucked you for but i mean if you just kept your goddamn mouth shut and, and unless you were on camera and when you're on camera read the fucking script your friends and your editor and shit are all there to try to protect you from getting in these fucking fights with these fucking crazies and all this and like you know the truth or whatever i think you do but i mean like but but still like, you know, why did you even bring up the fucking victims? Why did you bring them up? I think I think that should have warranted like a $250 million settlement, but what American who isn't a rapist, murderer, mass genocide type has $1.5 billion for a non-violent settlement? The court was almost as bad as, as Alex Jones, frankly. Right. But the minute he like, and I'm sorry, but I mean that that's true. That. The whole world like like hit their forehead like how much, you know? And the whole world was like 1.5 billion. An absurd line of attack. I guarantee you, every Alex every, every bit of this entire cartoon fucking episode has just been cartoon characters. All of it, even him, kind of. It's all cartoon characters. And he's like, oh yeah, I bet the liberals are saying he killed the kids, and he didn't kill the kids. I saw him; he was there that day. But nobody said he killed the kids. All right, and it, so so but, why did you start talking like they're accusing you of killing the kids? Well, because yeah, a one point five. He won't say it directly, but a one point five billion dollar fucking settlement is like he killed all those kids. That's the sort of money that he would pay if he killed the kids. Probably more. I mean, if he had killed the kids, killed the kids, they never would have let him pay for it. You know, they would have just killed him. So, I mean, I don't know. Like, they did the... Like, did, didn't they catch the Sandy Hook guy? Or, no, he's suicided, huh? But, like, yeah, like, like you know... Uh, like, the James Holmes guy, like guy, I think they caught him, didn't they? I don't know. Um, but, uh... I don't see how it benefits anybody even bringing the fucking victims up. What do the victims have to do with this? The victims, w like, you know, were the victims of a school shooting... Now, he was saying something so egregiously false, which is that the whole thing was justified, or not justified, excuse me, but um, the whole thing was a hoax, right? But what I think he actually should have been saying was, is it's a CIA assassin. And he can't say that or the CIA will kill him. So he says the next best thing and gets the attention that he wants to it, which is that... Yeah, they might be running government ops to kill kids to get us to vote a certain way on guns. Now, are they doing this? No. I don't really believe they're doing that, no. I don't. I don't, I don't think they're that sick. So I'm not going to fucking back what he said, you know? But I suspect them of stuff like this all the time. I will, I will be honest about that. I suspect them of, of this sort of shit all the fucking time. Often because we catch them at it. So, you know, like for, like, for instance, like that time that we dosed a bunch of poor army fucking cadets with acid and didn't tell them what it was, overdosed them with it, and then fucking fried their brains. That's how we got that movie Firestarter by King, or book Firestarter by Stephen King and shit. That actually happened and shit. They just tested fucking hallucinogenic, terrible, terrible drugs on, on fucking army cadets. People that were trying to help the country through military service and shit that's the government that i know right so they do shit like this all the fucking time look at agent orange or all the landmines they sowed in europe and killed kids with or all this other shit that they do sarin gas and stuff like this right but i'm like like overall right or or like covid in a lab or anything but overall i don't believe they're sick enough to do something like kill all those kids on purpose i i want to fundamentally believe that they are not that sick right if there's any fucking conspiracy theory here i believe it would be a cia assassin fucking brainwash like the like the guy who killed john lennon with the fucking book of catcher in the rye in his back pocket right who, who who walks into sandy hook and kills all those kids and shit because because he's been brainwashed by the cia because they don't want the gun rights ended 
and they can't swing us because because we actually have to popular popular but they can't swing the vote they they don't have the power to swing the vote they don't have it the cia cannot cannot swing the vote in this country towards guns they don't have that kind of power so they, they run shit in the background clandestine shit like i always suspected they put cia assassins everywhere and cause problems like killing mlk fucking john lennon Fucking, I always suspected it, you know? But I, I don't know. I don't know what they do. Fucking Judy Berry and, you know, Earth First and all this. Like, they, like FBI put a car bomb and they were, and she convicted them of it. Coretta Scott King convicted the FBI of, 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 of some kind of, and forced them to admit in court that there was some kind of fucked up thing with the MLK case and then nobody knew what it was. They got, she got them to admit that, that, you know, that there was a government conspiracy about MLK to, to, to quiet the truth, you know? She won that case. For, for a long time, time we've been sort of like scared that they've been working really shitty gestapo clandestine stuff in the background that is something that the alt-right is terrified of they're fucking terrified of it they're, they're terrified of it because every 10 years or so they storm ruby ridge and burn all the kids or they storm davidian compound or they burn all the kids or they or they you know blow up 9 11 or they you know every 10 years they do something really horrible and so so some of us might thought that maybe sandy hook was actually this gener you know sorry this um decade 9-11 you know some of us actually thought that that it might be an inside job and all that that's what that's what that's what alex thought he can't say cia assassin or they'll fucking kill him or full-blown throw him in jail for the rest of his life for for libel or slander for saying that the cia killed you know just like they might do to me like just like, like libel or slander trying to say that the cia killed the M mlk jfk and like john lennon fucking the list goes on uh you know Mar malcolm x fucking you know judy berry fucking you know the list goes on these are people that have been convicted have gotten convictions in courts and stuff like that M O K and coretta scott and you know like so so we, we don't trust them any further we can throw them the alt-right does not trust them and most of my friends are alt-right it's unfortunate i hate it but i mean they're they're like libertarians they're they're alt-right they're like alt-right they're libertarians you know they believe in guns and you know making your own money you know not not being a leech or, or any of that stuff and, and the government paying for itself and not not charging us all the time and and so like now we're in this terrible place where, 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 where Alex Jones obviously felt that he needed to represent the interests of the people who put him where he was. So he says something, and I really fucking wish he hadn't. So he says something, and I wish he would just say CIA assassin like a real man instead of saying hoax. Because that just boiled the blood of every single woman on the planet who's ever been a mother or who's or ever really everybody on the fucking planet bo boiled their blood every last person on the planet had their blood boiled by this 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 accusation that the the, the the you know this the school shooting was a fucking hoax you know but i mean i wish he had just said cia assassin it would have kept the it would have kept it clean you know it, it, it's this thing about like like that the, the, the parent he wanted to, to disrespect the parents so badly the victims they are still victims you know he wanted to dis disrespect the fucking victims so badly uh, that that he accused them of dis disguising a hoax of their of murdering their children which is a, a really reprehensible thing but it's 250 million dollar reprehensible it's not 1.5 billion and it's weird that turned into a kangaroo court for it and honestly i don't think he's that wrong i wonder sometimes if that kid was a cia assassin uh, and that's the truly tragic part about this what if that kid was a cia fucking assassin he can't say it without the cia being like what did you say and like fucking throwing his ass in jail and suing him for everything he's got maybe killing him in jail and shit like that look at what they did to jeffrey and stuff he can't say that the cia fucking brainwashed that fucking kid to kill a bunch of kids he can't say that so he says the next best thing that he can to draw the attention to it i suspect they're doing this all the time which is that you know that it was a hoax so now you know he's up shit creek his career's dead he's canceled these people are like, like, like furrowing their brows, being like, "What happened here? Like, you used to be this progressive that, that introduced us to Bohemian, Bohemian Grove, and what they're actually doing." Poor, poor, poor Jank is like, "Well, there goes my only fucking peer, right? Besides the other people on his show, he's got wonderful peers on his show, but I mean, there goes Ch Chank's only fucking peer. The progressives are dead now. The fucking, the the fucking, the libertarian progressives, their big mouthpiece just got fucking strung up." 
and now they're the only people left are Ch Chank, and he and he's the one who appeals to my sort of people, the li the, the the liberals, you know, the the deep deep left left wing extreme leftist, almost Karl Marxist liberals, right? And, and this is who he appeals to, and that that's who Assam Piker is, and that's who this guy is. We're progressive and shit, and we're the assholes who always cost you the elections and hate both of you. We're the worst people in the country. We hate you. We I hate Democrats and Republicans. Fucking straight hate them. Every day that goes by, I hate them more as the circus continues. You know. So, so I'm a progressive now, and I don't know what the fuck to call that. I would say social democrat is the most accurate one now. So, but I mean, like, I don't know. I don't know what the fuck to call that. I think we need like ten parties and shit. I don't know. I told my parents this the other day. Then I was also like, I don't know. I don't know. Like, is it very good if 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 they disguise what's actually going on by doing what they normally do, which is obfuscation? They drew all of our attention to Alex Jones getting canceled, as opposed to maybe a CIA assassin killing fifteen or twenty of our kids. You know. And so, if you really want to look at from 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 like a conspiracy theorist view, fucking crazy alt left person who has all these crazy theories about what's going on in the fucking background or whatever, like I really don't like what Alex Jones did because I mean, all it did was draw the world's attention to Alex Jones. If he actually was after, like like if you if you look at it like the witch hunt that it was, if if he was actually out to slay the government for killing kids and shit, it seems like he was. He wouldn't shut the fuck up about it. Then maybe he was actually right maybe this was a cia assassin and there's some, some some actual smoke to the fire here right but we're never gonna fucking find out because now alex jones is canceled all we can ever talk about is the 1.5 billion dollar fucking debacle kangaroo court thing the the progressives lost their fucking alt-right mouthpiece the fucking leftists are like what <laughs> You know, we're like, what? Why did you diss all these fucking victims all like this? Like, what? That just seems like the average jackbooted thug right wing thing to do. You know, is abuse victims in, in court and in lies and, and in public and slander them and shit. That seems like a jackbooted fascist right wing like classic thing to do. We never expected him to do something like that. And we're all like, like scratching our fucking heads like, what? He, he's touchy. I mean, it's obvious. Yeah, he's touchy. I believe he believes that the government killed those kids. He's touchy about it. He didn't back down from the fucking lie. I think he believes it. I think I believe it. But the problem is, he he used the word hoax because he can't go... Like, he, as Alex Jones, a fat man who's like 57... I don't mean to make fun of his weight, but I'm talking about like a fat man in terms of... He can't go fight Navy SEALs or the government or anything like that. I'm not making fun of his weight. I respect his weight. Whatever. He's not fat even. You know? I'm talking about like, you know, like a, like a, like, like a generally like sort of like out of out of shape man like me is not going to go fight the cia if he makes an accusation of mass murder to the cia they're going to kill his ass so if they don't straight up put him in fucking life you know life in jail or something like that right you can't go say the cia in public on a mic they'll fucking kill you they'll put you in life in jail or, or the, the equivalent they'll put you in life in jail for slander or libel whatever you know whichever one you're doing whether you're on the mic or or writing something right whatever they're going to be like slander or libel that's bullshit we didn't kill these kids you know not to be true fuck you all this shit and they'll put you in jail for life for that kind of shit they don't care they don't care they'll put you up for a bunch of charges and they'll sink you for five or 10 years each and they'll let you out after like 15 right so but or you can or you can say hoax and go to war with what you suspect is happening which is he obviously suspected that the parents were in on the fucking lie on the cia assassin lie he actually believed that the parents were in on the cia assassin lie but I just believe that he's a CIA assassin. I don't think the parents knew shit. When does the government ever fucking actually do anything in a cover-up? They don't ever fucking hide anything. They straight up kill Boeing witnesses in public and shit like that. Bo wo you know, Boeing whistleblowers and shit like that. When does, you know, when does the government ever cover up anything? You know? Maybe Roswell or whatever? I don't blame him. He lost $45 million. <laughs> Slander damages, past and future, $25 million. B, emotional distress damages, past and future, $30 million. Total, fair, just, and reasonable damages to plaintiff David Wheeler and against Alex Jones and Free Speech Systems and line A and line B, $55 million. Why did you, did you do this? Why did you go after these fucking people? Just tell your little lies on your fucking microphone or whatever the fuck. Why did you attack these fucking people, you fucking asshole? 
I used to really like Alex Jones too. I used to really believe everything he said. Like almost everything, not all of it, but a lot of it. Even the frog skate thing, I think he's right. They've been putting goddamn fluoride in that water. You don't believe me? Go fucking Google. They've been they've been fluoriding that water for, for like 70 years or something. And yeah, it absolutely does cause hermaphroditia and fucking in, in, uh, or hermaphroditic, yeah, hermaphroditic uh, generation in, in frogs. That is not a lie. Now, he was furious about it, and I'm kind of furious about it. And it was a joke because it is a joke. It's like, I don't want shit that makes the frogs gay. He's right about that, but it's just he shouldn't have been like like such an unhinged cartoon character about it. He could have just addressed it. I am Fluoride is really bad for your fucking teeth. It's really bad for your brain. It's really fucking bad for you. And they put it in the water. They tell you that they put it in the water. White bleached bread is extremely bad for you. It causes stuff like what I have, celiac disease. It's actually really bad. Most humans have a gluten fucking allergy. This sucks, but it's true. You know? It is actually true. Then it cancer. We were never meant to have the reliance on wheat bread that we did. We were never meant to have the reliance on preservatives that we did and all this stuff. And so that's the stuff that he was getting at, right? How? I just did it. Doesn't matter. I just did it. I just did it. I created death. People didn't die before I was born. I created heartburn. I created hemorrhoids. I created hangovers. I created... He's drunk and he's high and he's having a goddamn mental breakdown in the moment. He can't pay any of these bills. Gingivitis. Mm. That's a bad one. I created... Heroin. That's a bad one. Boss. I created... Uh, Why are we looking at his hair? Acne. Mm. I, I wish created, you did that one. I created bad breath. I wish you didn't do that one. I love that response. I wish you didn't do that one. <laughs> it's such a fucking good streamer response. I fucking love Andrew Callahan. Fucking smooth G. He'll be the Ali G of the, of the modern age. He'll be the Sasha Baron Cohen of the, of the young age. I fucking love Andrew. That's such a good response. I wish you didn't create that one. <laughs> That's such a fucking home movies response. That's such a Brendan Smalls response. That's a Brendan Small response. It's something straight from H. John Benjamin or Archer or something like that. I wish you didn't create that one. It's it's, it's such a great little one-liner. Use Hillary Clinton of being the devil because a fly landed on her once. Uh, so, but now he turns around and says, "No, I'm the devil. Uh, I I did the Holocaust. I did acne. I did all this stuff. Right? Uh, so, okay, that's interesting. Duly noted. I'll just leave it at that. Um, so, guys, of course we don't think he did those things because we're not a lunatic like Alex Jones." does this to humans as well that's why genitals i don't care if you're black or white <laughs> are a third the size they were of a 1960s male oh yeah uh are you saying that about yourself now or because my dick's the same size i think you are a 60 year old man experiencing erectile dysfunction <laughs> So the media makes jokes about that a few months ago when I gave the example of, you know, if your daddy's Johnson was a foot long, yours is six inches long. And if yours is yours was six inches, your son will be three inches. And the one with them won't even have a penis. So you make, <laughs> make jokes about that. <laughs> <laughs> what is with this unhinged fucking picture? This is why I don't let people do this, do stuff. I almost never let people take pictures of me. I'm all cool with the camera, but I almost never let them take pictures of me because I always look dumb like this. Holding always. I always look like some kind of fucking rabbit in the headlights. I'm like, you know, I hate it. I've always hated every time I've ever had a photo taken from me because I always look like I'm in shock or something like that. It's the big eyes, I think. Just like him. See the big eyes? I have the same thing. I hate getting my picture taken. This isn't a game. <laughs> And you can say, okay, well, who cares? Well, we're sterilized. We're sterilized. I don't even know where to start, I guess. Um... My penis is the same size. We're not sterilized. There's too many people on the fucking planet. They keep reading. I can't stand it. Please save me. I, I feel sick and I want to go home. Look, that's tragic, honestly. <laughs> if you had fond memories of your daddy's <laughs> penis... And I'm sure he does. I'm sure he does. Oh! I got nothing, and you look at your kid. That pathetic kid, he's not gonna bring it. Doesn't matter how puberty, whatever, he's got nothing. Nothing. That's I Alex Jones. He's just telling on himself. 
Like, do you totally. realize he's telling on himself not only that he's got a small Johnson, but that he looks at his dad's and maybe his son's kind of a lot. Oh or, my God. or maybe, look, it, look. I, I understand many people are going to go there and think that it's personal. It doesn't have to be. Maybe he remembers seeing a bunch of bigger penis. Notice how they look like punks? It's because they're actually democracy now, like me. They're actually progressives. I wouldn't say that of Alex Jones. Alex Jones is an alt-right idiot. This is decades ago, and now when I go around... Trying to rip people off for supplements and convince, uh, like, you know convince the world that the Sandy Hook thing was a hoax. Looking what the fuck? Randomly in bathrooms <laughs> like a creep. I don't I'm not impressed by what I see maybe. Sure. Anyway, by the way, can we jump for a second to the last graphic I have because that was actually one of my explanations why I was talking about this. It says super male vitality. Now 5245. <laughs> so for $52, and that's a deal. It's a little bit cheaper. You can, <laughs> I don't know if you ingest that or if you lotion with it. I don't know, but it'll make you. I don't want to know. You even stronger. <laughs> Where do you put the tincture? Ooh. Uh, yeah, Where does yeah, it? I, <laughs> I don't want to know. Okay. So, I mean, look, the bottom line is, I want to get to the nuance in a second too, because I think uh, uh, you have to know the actual facts. But, but basically Alex Jones is saying here, um, the Democrats shrunk my penis. And uh, and by the way, and the only way that you could fix it, mine or yours, is buying this product of mine. It gives you mail, my Damn it, the Democrats shrunk my penis. For $52. Okay, it's the most obvious snake oil that you've ever seen in your life. Goddamn Democrats keep shrinking our penises. I will eat my neighbors. I will eat my neighbors. If my kids die. I I'm just gonna be honest. With my superpowers being honest, I've extrapolated this out, and I won't have to for a few years since I got food and stuff. But I'm literally looking at my neighbors now, going, "I'm ready to hang them up and gut them and skin them and chop them up." You know what? I'm ready. My daughters aren't starving to death. I'll eat my neighbors. See, my superpower is being honest. I'll eat your ass. I'll do it. My children aren't going hungry. I will eat your ass. Alex Jones was, in fact, in band when he was in high school. Um, however, he is a bit rusty uh, with the trombone these days. Oh, God. Okay. Well, you know, I started off my day having a crazy person <laughs> yell at me through a video camera that he's going to eat my ass over and over and over. Now I got that in my head. Thanks a lot for that. So he kept alternating between I will eat your ass and I'm not going to let my kids starve i'm not gonna let my kids starve i'll fight you when we all fight each other but he never says i'm gonna i'll, I'll eat you when we all when the when the civil war don't come i'll eat you kids eat i'll eat my neighbors <laughs> he seems really focused on what he's gonna eat with the excuse being i don't want my kids to starve it kind of seems like you guys still have food your kids are eating it but you're eating humans i don't know why he says he's talking about the civil war has happened he's gone to war with them he will eat his neighbors uh to become stronger my my neighbor i you're doing it pretty early <laughs> in this like gets in my belly you're not starving but you're already thinking about doing it that seems sort of weird mm -hmm. senator john tester has committed an unforgivable crime according to his republican colleagues he, th this is really hard for me to say, let alone report. <laughs> he, um, drives a Prius. <gasps> yeah. Then oh my God. Look at that terrible, terrifying man. I, I really believe there should be yellow crime scene tape around him and like some st steam coming off of his forehead and stuff and like some steam coming out of his ears. Look how angry that man is. Oh my God, 60 years of a do-nothing Congress will make you really fucking angry. Look at that. Oh my God, that man is a boiling pit of rage. He will explode and his, and his nostrils will spew out American flags. Senator John Tester pulled no punches this week. And oh my God, he really looks like he's going to kill the cameraman. <laughs> This anger level is over 9,000. Getting back at a statement from the National Republican Senatorial Committee that read, Bombshell, John Tester drives a Prius. <laughs> wow. <laughs> They're not kidding. They thought that was a bombshell. <laughs> he, re he replied, what a bunch of jackasses. 
Tester said on Monday night in response to the statement that included a clip of the Democrat getting into his car at the U.S. Capitol. Quote, the Washington Post reports that rugged dirt farmer John Tester drives a Prius, adding the NRSC captioning the clip on its website. Tester obviously, of course, realizes how absurd this is and is sticking to his principles and showing congressional Republicans how absurd it is to be against hybrid vehicles. I'm sorry, I read that wrong. He actually completely groveled in his response. Quote, I've got an 86 Chevy. I've got a 2018 GMC. I've oh, good. He's got 10 cars and five houses, and he's up in our Congress doing nothing right now. I've got a 2018 Honda Ridgeline. I've got a Celica. I've got a Peterbilt. I got a 67 International. They, the, his fellow Republicans challenge his penis size because he drives a Prius. Truck. I got a 96 International truck. I got a 78 GMC. You want me to keep going? Okay, I'm going to spend $10,000 this week on diesel, filling my bulk tanks I use for planting my crop in the ground. Does that make it okay now? Adding the third, added the third generation of farmers, one of the most vulnerable incumbents up for re-election this cycle, and he scurred. There aren't a lot of dirt farmers in Montana who drive a Prius. John Tester is gone. Washington NRSC spokesperson Maggie Aboud later posted, doubling down on the attack. Tester is running against former Navy SEAL Tim Sheehy in November's general election, which could very well determine which party controls the majority in the U.S. Senate. So I guess the moral here is if you're going to drive a car that is even partially, hybridly friendly to the environment, make sure you offset it with 10, 12, 15 vehicles that are destroying the environment as your only way to kind of combat such an egregious crime against humanity. Thanks for watching. Our audience has helped build TYT into the media giant it is today. Together, we can accomplish anything. Support our work and join us at tyt.com slash team. Look at our politics, just a bunch of goofballs, man. <laughs> so like, <laughs> Bob Shaw got him, Trump's a Prius, so weak and soft. I bet he Thank you, the Young Turks. I've liked this up to your like. channel. <laughs> right? And then he has to respond and be like, oh, yeah? I got 28 other cars. I'm effing up the environment way better than you realize. I thought that when I would start the Epic Games launcher, it would actually patch Fortnite. But no, I guess you have to tell it to do that. So I lost like 20 minutes, and I'm sorry. I thought it was actually doing it in the background. Or I would have started the session by now, and I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, just another example of a bad front end. It's like when they attacked <laughs> yeah. Obama for eating arugula. He didn't come out and say, I, I ate pig this morning. I had cow for dinner last night. I plan to eat several lambs tomorrow afternoon. And occasionally I like a salad. And then last irony here is now the Republicans love Elon Musk, right? And uh, what does he have? Why? Tesla. Oh, electric car, right? But now, like, Tesla's okay. If you drive an electric car, it's not soft because the owner is right wing and potentially a fascist. So that's okay. But Prius, same thing. But not owned by a right wing. Oh, okay. He encouraged his viewers to harass the surviving family members. Jones's fans responded by stalking the families. Thank you, Legal Eagle, for the excellent content from my stream. I'd like to sub to your channel. Both online and in person. And the families finally filed suit against Jones in one judgment, totaling almost $1.5 billion in Connecticut and Texas. But so far, Jones hasn't paid anything on those judgments, instead funneling millions of dollars from InfoWars to himself and his relatives, at least on paper, all while claiming to be broke. Again, on paper. And he filed for bankruptcy, again, on paper, before the Connecticut trial was over and eventually produced a suspicious invoice making it look like InfoWars owed his parents $54 million. And as a result, the bankruptcy proceedings have largely stalled the collections process for two years. However, things are finally looking up for the plaintiffs. Yes, the federal bankruptcy court in Texas held a hearing on June 14th to determine whether to dismiss the bankruptcy proceeding, which would be super bad news for Alex Jones or convert him <laughs> to... <laughs> Chapter seven liquidation. I'm sorry. I'm not trying to relish in his bad time. He just looks so fucking dire. You just look like Eeyore out there. You just look like a piece of shit out there. You, 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 you're just you're just a piece of shit out there. You, you should stop looking like this. You know. Which would be even worse. Both of these options. Oh God. Options would allow plaintiffs to seize some of Jones's property at long last. And now that he's being forced to sell his property, Jones told his viewers that he's doing it all for the children. It's too hard. I. <sighs> These people hate our children. Yeah. 
So today we're going to talk about <laughs> that guy's how laughing. How we'll get into the end of the, <laughs> the bankruptcy of Alex Jones and how it's super bad news for Alex Jones. We covered what happened at Sandy Hook Elementary many times. So a quick recap. Now, if you accuse some parents of victims of a terrible shooting of of uh, of, uh, of, it, of 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 killing their own children, you may need a lawyer. <laughs> On December fourteenth, twenty twelve, a gunman murdered twenty first graders and six teachers at Sandy Hook. Jones spent the next decade promoting lies about the map. How are you going to kill 20 fucking six people, man? Massacre, suggesting that the government staged the shooting, uh, that grieving parents were crisis actors, and that the incident was manufactured so that Obama could take away all of our precious guns. Jones used his InfoWars program to promote people like Jim Fetzer, a retired professor who wrote a Obama, Obama was good for guns. I liked Obama. It was better for guns during Obama than it was during Trump. A book called Nobody Died at Sandy Hook. Uh, Fetzer spread malicious lies like the death certificates for shooting victims have been faked and that a shooting victim's gravestone was actually a computer-generated graphic. He accused Sandy Hook parent uh, Leonard Posner of being, quote, a different man named Reuben Bobner. Uh, who he insists is part of some international Jewish conspiracy. He claimed the children were actually crisis actors, and he claimed a whole bunch of other crazy nonsense. Now, InfoWars chief editor Paul Watson... Oh, God. Alex was really on some deeper shit that he believed from a, a credible source. I had no idea. I thought he was just farming the Sandy Hook thing for fucking engagement. But he, no, he, he was there to try and slay a fucking witch. He was on a witch hunt. And that's insane. He was there to actually stop them from something, which is just worse because I don't believe what he's saying. Told Jones, quote, it makes us look really I believe it was a government assassin. I don't think it has anything to do with Jewish people. Bad to align with people who harass parents of dead kids. But Jones was only too happy to align with people. I'm sorry that I've grown so fucking, what's the word? Uh... Cynical? where I believe my government capable of killing 30 kids, but I believe my government killed 3,000 people in 9-11. And we just never got closure or any kind of fucking resolution. So 30 kids is not less or anything. It's just, you know, if, if I believe that they're willing to kill 3,000 of our own people, uh... Uh, school doesn't seem such an outside thing. People who harass the parents of dead kids because it helped him sell massive. I don't products. think Columbine was an inside job, but I think Century 16 was. I don't think Chuck E. Cheese was an inside job. But I think Sandy Hook was. I don't think that one where the guy killed all those women. Uh, um, was it? Um, I forget the co color of the race, but he killed a whole bunch of. I think it was Chinese women. I, I think that was a government cover up. And I think Uvalde um, was not a. I don't think Uvalde was an assassin. Quantities of nutritional supplements, and so Jones made at least twenty more videos with false. But I mean, like, it sucks when my suspicions mix with his crazy, fucking. You know, his crazy fucking beliefs. I don't, I don't really don't like that, that I have the same views, but I mean, I'm progressive like him. I believe they killed a lot of us in 9-11. I believe they've been lying about almost everything. I think they've got a lobby that they, that, that buys them. I think they'll do anything the lobby tells them to do. I, you know, I'm sorry. But I know that's cynical. I don't like being that negative. He didn't just lie to his audience. He encouraged them to investigate the situation on their own. And of course, he yeah, and I bet, I bet they did. Concluded that Jones intended to activate his audience. Millions of people watched and listened to Infowars, and some of them stalked and targeted the Sandy Hook families and first responders. Now, eventually, the Sandy Hook families had had enough harassment from Jones and his associates, so they filed defamation lawsuits against Jones, Infowars, and related companies in Connecticut and Texas. Now, despite all the evidence that 26 people lost their lives that day, Jones broadcasted lies about Sandy Hook for over five years, and during a deposition of that case, Jones finally admitted what everyone else already knew, that the gunman murdered 26 people. Jones said that he had a form of psychosis that led him to believe it was all a hoax. Now, the... I think I have a form of psychosis, too, which is that the CIA kills a lot of our own people a lot of the time. I, I believe it's psychosis. I believe that. 
wholeheartedly like the sun's in the sky right now i believe that that sun's in the sky right now i believe that uh you know that the cia uh did this the case went to trial but only on damages because jones refused to i hate that i hate it i don't want to believe this obey the court's discovery orders and you failed to immediately participate in the discovery process so after jones basically refused to give any information about himself and his companies the judge entered a default judgment on liability 965 million dollars for some lies on a fucking microphone as a sanction i guess it was six families suing for 200 million each whatever sir 185 something like that so i guess it does make sense six families six victims 200 million each now i don't think it's a kangaroo court anymore i'm sorry i just thought it was like one person sued him but no it's six different families no wonder it was so much the, the jury awarded the plaintiffs 965 million dollars wow. the court ordered jones to pay an additional 473 million dollars in punitive damages uh, Jones tried the same tactic in the Texas case and was met with a similar result. And after a default judgment, the jury awarded the victims $49 million. Jones and his company, Free Speech Systems, now owe the Sandy Hook plaintiffs nearly $1.5 billion in damages. And so far, they have yet to see a penny of that money because Jones has claimed to be broke and filed for bankruptcy. Now, Jones first filed for personal bankruptcy, but since InfoWars is... Yeah, like, why did you need to talk about the parents? Why did you need to call it a hoax? Like, all that stupid shit, dude. You could have just said CIA assassin and the, and everybody in the world would have been like, Oh, Alex, you're up to your, your old shenanigans. Remember when you went into Bohemian Grove and exposed the skull and bones? and all the people that killed 3,000 of our own people in 9-11. I do. I do remember that. You used to be such a cool little progressive guy, but then you got all crazy and started drinking your own fucking Kool-Aid and, and, and uh, accused a bunch of victims of essentially murdering, murdering their own kids, which, like, we know that the assassin killed the kids. What kind of fucking crack were you smoking in that back fucking office? Like, you know? We know that that assassin killed those kids. Whether he was just a sicko or an assassin, we'll never know. You know, we'll never know. It's a mystery wrapped in an, enig in an, enig an enigma, you know, or whatever. We'll never know, like the JFK murders or whatever. But, uh... I don't think the families ever should have been in your fucking mouth. I think you deserve to lose the billion dollars if it's six people and 200 million each. Yep. It's also liable. It's parent company, Free Speech Systems, also filed for bankruptcy under Chapter 11. Now, Chapter 11 bankruptcy is the nice bankruptcy. It allows a person or company to reorganize, lower its debts, and continue as a going concern. Now, in 2019, Congress... What if I should declare bankruptcy? I was, uh, I had a, what is it? It's, I think it's a 315 credit rating since I was... Oh, uh, 21 and and i've never had a credit card and i've never bought anything on a credit card that's all just fucking people sending my bills to collections and shit when they shouldn't have like like comcast charged me for 11 months when i was living in hawaii for business for business access in colorado and i was like what they were like you owe us seven thousand dollars and i was like no i don't i'll fight you and i did fight them fought them for years over that i was like no i i had the motherfucker turn off this shit i, I had the guy turn off the cable and all that and that's like and i ended up with a 315 credit rating and i've never had a credit card not once i've never had a credit card in my whole fucking life but the the piece of shit fucking scam artist scriptonomic assholes of the fucking word world burned me over fucking like overdrafts on my bank statement and fucking like some fucking bill that comcast lied about you know comcast lied about that fucking bill they said they said i owed them fucking like 13 months worth of business service which was like 2600 dollars or something like that and i had the i got the, the the fucking installer to sign an affidavit proving that he had uninstalled the service back when i said they did they didn't believe me. They ran that to collections. They didn't believe their own fucking installer. They were just so stupid. They ran 13 months of fucking service to some fucking house that I, I moved away from and then forced me to pay for it goddamn piece of shit corporate fucking companies you know how mad i used to get about that i used to play this the south park thing about comcast comcast bundling cable and i used to roll my my fucking tit and stuff on on fucking stream and be like oh my god you you ruined my credit for 25 years over a fucking 1300 dollar bill you, my credit rating now is 315 
I've never bought anything with a credit card. I've only ever had debit cards that I accidentally overcharged bank bank draft statements on, like three bucks or something ran over and I paid like a $35 overdraft fee, right? But I've had like, you know, a hundred of those in my life or something like that. And so because of the hundred overdraft fees and the goddamn fucking Comcast lying about about me having service and shit, they, they dropped my credit rating when I was 21 years old to like 20, or so 25, I was like 24, I think. They, and they dropped my credit rating to 315. You know, most people have to blow like 50 grand on a credit card to get to 315. They just straight fucked me in the ass before I was even 18. Before I was even 18, my credit rating was like goddamn four, four, 400 or something like that. And by the time I was 21, it was like 315. And I like, that's just another example of how I've just never been given recognition of anything but damage by anybody else in the world. Just people actively trying to destroy me for no fucking reason at all. No reason at all. I don't fear them, I think, is the reason. I don't fear Comcast. I don't fear fucking bill collectors. I don't fear fucking 315 credit rating. I never did give a shit about that. I never had a credit card in the first place. Every way that they run this world is is such a fucking fraud. It's such a fraud from credit to the fucking politics to the fucking lies and the media. It's, it's just complete bull hockey. Almost all of it. And, like, now I think, like, man, if I had had, like, a nice credit line of, like, three grand one time in my life, I might be rich like Elon now. But, no, nah, they rigged that game before I was even 21. Fucking piece of shit Republic crap fucking thieves in the temple with their fucking piece of shit predatory banking. Clinton repealed the fucking Glass-Steagall Act and fucked us over for fucking 70 years or something like that. I hate Bill Clinton. You know? And like, and I, I looked at it like that. I looked at that whole Bill Clinton Glass Steagall thing, and I was like, "Oh shit, yeah, that's why I have a credit rating of 315. Oh yeah, okay, yeah, great, yeah, overdraft fees and all the shit that Glass Steagall allowed, you know. Oh, that's why. Okay. Small Business Reorganization Act to make it easier for small businesses without a lot of assets to go through. Uh, like you know, like to process mm. faster and with less oversight. This so now I'm just like, I'll do it myself. Fuck them. I don't need the, I don't need their credit. I don't need their money. I don't doubt, I doubt I'll ever get support from anybody. I just like, you know, I never I'll never get a sponsorship or any of that shit. I don't really like I think everybody else in the world can get that. But I think any recognition from the human race is essentially some kind of contract for me to save the human race. So they never did give it to me, you know? Since I was like 20, I've had a credit rating of 315 and shit. My mother repaired her credit six times. I was allowed to be 315 since I was 18 years old. Does that sound fair to you? I just not like I had a credit card. It was just 315, you know, because I had some overdraft fees and shit at a bank or whatever. You decided to ruin my credit for fucking 35 years. Like, fuck your banks, fuck your fucking shitty Republicrat piece of shit, do nothing Congress, do nothing fucking politicians that are 70, 80, 90 years old and running this country into the ground. Fuck the pigs who run with them, fuck the courts, fuck the systems, fuck the bankers, fuck the demon bankers who roll with them, fuck the demon bankers overseas in those fucking, you know, in, the, in, in those fucking Bahamas and shit like that. Fuck all the Bitcoin, fuck the demon bankers fucking with Bitcoin, fuck all the corruption and the shit that you did to the people people of my generation fuck all the drug addictions problems with the opioid, opioid crisis and all this stuff how is it that, that the that the government is not actively trying to kill us chapter 11 now initially subchapter 5 was only available to companies whose debts were under 2.7 million dollars but once covid hit congress raised the threshold to 7.5 million dollars now jones thought and I'm like you know i just i don't even speak anymore i do it on my stream and nowhere else i don't talk to anybody in real life anymore i don't talk to any anything or anyone i don't care to me they're a dead cause they're a bunch of fucking zombies walking around they don't give a shit they haven't given a shit since jfk died they don't care they don't care nothing will ever happen we'll never get the resolution or anything like that no they don't care so yeah like you know i just like you know, so i don't care i don't care about money i don't care about their politics i won't vote for them i don't care about what they do i don't care what they do to me i don't care what they do to my friends i don't care i just don't care about them anymore their value to me is zero they've been fucking with us and destroying my generation and everybody younger for so fucking long i can't even i can't even by putting free you know, just I just don't even care. Go on and keep fucking me in the ass like you've done for the last 27 years. Credit rating of 315 before I was 21 for no reason at all. Never owned a credit card. Thanks. 
And uh, how many people tell that story just like me? I bet so many people my age will tell you the same exact fucking story. They've never had the never had the grace of a fucking credit card. They've never had they've never had the experience before, but they sure do have a 300 credit rating. Subchapter 5 bankruptcy proceedings before the Connecticut jury assess damages. And according to the bankruptcy I'd really love to run like 300 bucks on credit fucking right now. I'd really like to try to start repairing my credit. But that would that would imply that the government was legitimate, that I had ever been treated as a human being or with the respect ever by almost anybody except my friends and family. Like, you know, or that, that we have a government that's functioning. It's not. Or that a Congress that did anything the last 60 years. That would mean that the banks didn't fuck everybody in 2008. It wouldn't mean the, it wouldn't mean the death of the country and 3,000 of our own dead killed by our own people and all the false flag scenarios and all the wars that you forced us into and the 9-11s and the covids and all the stupid shit that you've been actively doing to try and kill us and all this and i'm sorry but you know yeah just it's it's, it's it's of no value to me i don't play your games i don't care what you do i don't listen to your fucking figureheads i don't like your politicians you know i don't like your people i don't like what the monkeys do to each other i don't like how you accuse the cartel of all your fucking sins i'm fucking sick of, of your anti-semitic anti-mexican anti-fucking anything that isn't white i can't stand you you're not people to me you're not really americans you're just like basically people there trying to kill us Islands. Free speech systems reported seventy nine million dollars in liabilities. You know, but wait a minute. And I, I just, I, I just wish Alex Jones would just say that. Instead, he's he's on some side hook on some JFK shit, trying to push some fucking crazy conspiracy theory. I don't, I don't have any conspiracy theories. I can tell you about the, the, uh, you know, the land that you killed. You know, I can tell you about the the soul of the humans and the people that you killed. You killed this place. How did free speech systems? And like, you know, and I want you for murder, but I won't, I won't kill you. You know. I need you to reform on your own. You you drove this country into the fucking ground. And uh, now you deserve the ground, but I won't put you in the ground. I need you to pull us out of it. Qualify as a small business if it had $79 million in debt. You know? Debt. Didn't I just say that the company needs to have less than $7.5 million? I'm going to keep talking like this all my fucking life. I don't care if you listen or not. Hopefully, I do, uh, Honestly, hopefully you don't. It's, it's just poison and toxic and you know it's the destruction and the worst victim of the government i'm the worst victim of the government i'm wearing the goddamn blood on my fucking face you know what i'm saying i have no identity i was chopped off in every fucking way my my job shut off like they're they're helping me now you know they're helping me now but i think that's all part of that weird game it's weird they're helping me now you know Thank God they're helping me now. Or I would have just wandered the fucking lands like a lost soul trying to find somebody who doesn't look like a fucking zombie who actually cares about this country. You know what I'm saying? Eligible debt? Well, like, I, I, like I think they're up there in that do-nothing Congress listening to their do-nothing CNN and their do-nothing Fox all fucking day. I, and like, I'm sorry. You know? Oh, I don't know. Like I've written so many poems about this. I've traveled. I have. I've marched in parades. I put girls on poles, you know, to prevent the Cl the Columbus Day conquistadorial march that the rich white people do every year. You know what I'm saying? Fucking fucking Thanksgiving Day. The fucking the celebration of the massacre of the native fucking Americans and the Trail of Tears. Literally the fucking celebration of it. You know what I'm saying? I've been doing this for far too fucking long, you know, and I just don't really view them as, you know, I don't, like just like them, I don't view them as humans. Uh, Republicans and Democrats, I don't view them as fucking humans. No. I view them as the problem, the people who killed us and raped all the children, bought kids from Jeffrey and killed Jeffrey and, you know, and sold kids to Bill Gates and, you know, all this nasty shit with Matt Gates and, and it just all connects. It's all just a bunch of weird, pederasty, fucking crazy rich people who all fuck young underage hookers and fucking children and blackmail each other and run it to and use it to run the world's politics. And I'm sorry, but no. No, uh, no, no, no. And you, you'll never have credibility with me again. You might have 300 years of Republicans and Democrats and shit. I'll be long dead. And I am thankfully so. The life that you built you built for me in this country, thankfully so. I look forward to my death. Have since I was like, you know, have since uh, you, you threatened 10 years, tender, threatened me with 10 years of jail on a nonviolent drug charge. You know? So now...
on violation of probation you know and i couldn't i haven't been able, I've been able to sleep on my back since uh, i met the human race there's a knife there's a knife in there for every day that i've known you and i'm sorry you know i'm sorry sooner or later somebody's gonna actually say something i think all these people just trot trot along and they don't say anything they just they just accept the they just accept it and and they, they accept the abuse and the suffering and they just trot along in their lives and stuff and I was given a fucking soapbox. I can't believe they let me do that. I, I can't believe every day goes by that I am not shut down, you know? And I, 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 I cherish the days that I continue to be able to do it, right? Just like being a punk singer, I don't give a fucking living shit what the government fucking thinks or the censorship or what you think or anything like that, right? My message is it needs to be heard. I am the disenfranchised youth. And by youth, I mean like the, the youngest people to be hurt by the cold, I am the disenfranchised youth that was was addicted to drugs and cast out on the fucking streets and judged for this and judged for that. Half of us or a quarter of us are gay or something like that. Like a bunch of us are drug addicts. So many of us have been cast out and fucking dealt dealt with like pariahs forever. Like just finally, like the age of like 37 or something like that, I finally felt like maybe they cared if I lived or died, you know? Now I feel like that. I know I knew my family did. I love my I love my family. Got no issue with them. But I'm talking about the government. I th I didn't really didn't. I was very surprised when they wanted to help me. I was like, oh, I I kind of thought they wanted me to die. You know, like seriously. And so yeah. And, 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 Exception for insider and affiliated debt. Section 1182 of the bankruptcy code states that for. And so that that the I am the disenfranchised voice that has been harmed by our fucking affiliates and our I'm sorry our affiliates but our officials and our our fucking do nothing Congress and in our our witch hunt of our own drug addicts and our own war our own war drug war on our own citizens our own fucking war on the poor I've been a victim of it all my goddamn life pretty much since I was like 12 years old pretty much. I mean, I was born with a silver spoon, but by the, by the age of 12 and shit, I was in some garage, you know, sleeping on a couch or whatever. I was sleeping on a couch, mostly. Since the age of 18, I've been sleeping on a couch, you know, like most of the fucking people in this country. And I'm sorry, like, you know, sooner or later, we have to actually look at the damage you did. I know that you don't want to look at it. I'm not threatening to kill you, but... You know, sooner or later, we're going to have to actually get some closure and stuff. You kind of cast us out in the cold like 17 years ago. Anthony Keita sung about it, you know? You've been doing this a long time. Chapter five eligibility. Anthony Keita so sang a song about it 17 years ago, I think, you know? Her by the cold, ex-girlfriend called me up, alone and desperate on a prison phone. They want to give me fucking 10 years for probation violation. And it's just a war on the poor, you know? And so, yeah, you, you can go on and call your little country something like America or whatever, but I call it a war on the poor now. I don't really call it a country anymore or politicians or, or any kind of anything like that. I call your little your, your little thing a war on the war on the poor, I would say. The term Welcome to the United States of the war on the poor. Or means a person engaged in commercial or business activities including any affiliate of such person that is also a debtor under this title and excluding a person dead serious i'm not fucking around with this shit i'm not saying it to get fucking cloud i don't care if i get rich or if you listen to me or not i'm dead serious about this shit i don't care about fucking some people listening to me or not i don't care if anybody does you know i'm dead serious about this shit you ran fucking shit against your own people for like 70 fucking years and i'm the the most jaded one i'm the one that felt the most jaded by it i needed my ident identity from my family and my people and my my country to do what i was gonna do with my fucking life you fuck you fucked me off since i was 13 years old you've been fucking hunting me for felonies since i was 13 years old you american royalty and you hunt me for fucking felonies and shit like that for stupid ass drug addiction fuck you guys the anger will never go away fuck you guys you know please free john sinclair etc fuck you guys your war on drugs fuck you guys straight up like every day it festers it festers i got hurt by the cold and now i'm frozen like mr freeze and I, i've lost my love and she's frozen now and i'm fucking furious at you single asset real estate that has aggregate non-contingent i'm fucking furious with you i have a fucking blood debt you know it fucking sucks i have a blood command to fucking fight you now fucking furious with the fucking rigged deck that you set against me all of my goddamn life i used to scream about it scream about it 
The internet smiles with its broken teeth, and the government wins when it's underneath. That skin of every man on earth really makes you feel your worth. When you tell me what products would be perfect for you, well, you don't really know me, well, fuck you too. When you tell me that drugs are bad, well, you don't really know me, and you are fucking... As of the date of the filing of the petition. Well, you know, I used to literally like scream about this stuff. Like, mm, the date mm, of the order for mm, mm. so now I got all this anger, and I'm like dealing with it. I'm working shit out, you know. But that doesn't change the fact that she kind of tried to kill us, and now we've got to kind of come to closure with it. And with swiggity swooty, we're coming for your booty. I'm gonna get closure for what you did to me, government. It's coming. Now, is this some violent attack? Fuck no. I think I'm going to talk the world out of loving you. I'm going to talk the entire known world out of loving the U.S. fucking government. That's my fantasy, if you really want to know what it is. I'm going to disenfranchise and disenchant the entire world with the U.S. fucking government until you die. I don't need a fire shot. I don't need to sue you or see any of your fucking jackbooted thugs with pistols on my fucking lawn or any of this shit. I don't have to. I got freedom of speech. By your own rules, right? And I will convince the fucking entire world that you gotta go, bitch. You gotta go. You've been fucking me in the ass all my life and everybody that I know. You gotta go, bitch. Rents got too damn high. Chickens have come home to roost. We're taking the money out of your fucking hide. You fuck up HUD? You put Ben Carson in charge of HUD with your fucking traitorism, Republicrat fucking backstabbing bullshit? You put Ben Carson in fucking HUD? You're done. You're done here. You'll never rule in this land again. You're done here. Fuck you. Debt to the Republican Party. Debt to the Democratic Party. $7, You're done here. Fuck you. Dollars excluding debts owed to one or more affiliates or insiders. Not less than 50% of which arose from the commercial or business activity. Been hurt by the cold way too much. You put my people out in the fucking cold. How many millions of Americans are on the street right now today at, at, at fucking, you know, 11 a.m. in the morning? How many millions of Americans are on the streets right now? Your war on the poor is so goddamn obvious. This means that if the debtor owes a debt... I will come for you. Sooner or later, I will come for you and I will fix it. I told them all my life I would. I'm fucking serious. I will come for you and I will, I will convince the world to cancel you if I fucking have to. You've hurt too many of my fellow people now. To a company or person affiliated with the debtor, the debts don't count against the $7.5 million. So if Free Speech Systems owed money to one of Jones' other companies or to Jones himself, those debts don't count... I swear blood vendetta against my own government. Yeah, no violence. No violence ever. Ever. I'll die first. No violence. You don't get to bring violence into, into this equation. You don't get to shoot me with a high-powered rifle from across the street like you did MLK and fucking John Lennon and fucking, you know, Malcolm X and shit. You don't get to do that to me, right? You're going to have to fucking deal with me. I have the power of the freedom of speech, you know? You can kill me if you want. It would be a it would be a surcease of the of the of the of the torture that was the disenfranchisement of all of America and the death of my own country, the death of my of my of my fucking native land, the 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 exor the excisement of or whatever the, the, I'm not saying excisement but like the exodus I had to make after I could no longer afford to stay in my own fucking city, you know what I'm saying? Like no hope, no class, nothing. Just fucking like like death on the streets, pretty much. That's what you thought Americans should face. I think you should face death on the streets. Now I'm not gonna do that to you, but that's what I think. You know what I'm saying? You put you put fifteen. Oh my god. Systems can elect subchapter five. And according to Jones's lawyers, his companies were. He's got the same problem. He wants to go to war with you. So do I. He'll say anything to get you. Anything. Exactly like his. Small and family. so would I business that were intended to fuck you to be beneficiaries of subchapter five except that free speech systems owes 53 million dollars to a company called pqpr holdings and guess who owns PQ i don't care about all the rest of this i'm sorry all the rest of that is frankly boring to me we all know what happened the <laughs> child faints at signing of insane ten commandments law this bill mandates the
sanitation law is so bad that one of the witness to one of the witnesses oh good churches are schools now or i'm sorry schools are churches oh good yeah i really like the the christian right in this country yeah thanks 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 for going against the founding fathers, you fucking 1776 fucking patriots. Real patriots as you fucking, like, bring the churches to the school, you know? Yeah, you really support America and the things the founding fathers believed, yeah. Like, separation of the church and state. Yeah, you really stand for America, don't you? As you turn the schools into fucking churches. Fucking traitors. We fainted. Well, we hope you go against the fucking founding fathers. You are not American. You are fucking liars. He's okay. The law itself is very bad. We have more information on it. You turn that church to a school? You turn that school to a church? Excuse me? <sighs> Hold on. You're, you're gonna... Remember what the founding fathers said about this? Did you ever go to school? Did you ever read a textbook about, you know, American government or civics or, or anything like that? Did you guys ever know that, yeah, we really don't like it? If God is ever even mentioned in a school, God has no place in a school's walls. That's, you know, that's. Yeah, I mean, look, if we're putting up the Ten Commandments of the schools and a young girl that attends one of those schools passes out, I mean, did. Who struck her down? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe this is bad news. She was low blood sugar. Maybe you because they made her sit upright on those crappy fucking bleachers. Probably for two hours and 45 fucking minutes while that gas bag talked about whatever stupid ass shit he's talking about. Fucking, you know, Nazi, Nazi churching up our schools, right? Against the founding fathers and everything American stands for. Traitor ass fucking mother anti-American pieces of shit. And like, so now, you know, yeah, separation of church and state, that's not a fucking joke. Keep the church out of my fucking schools, piece of shit traitors. Get the fuck out of here. Go against the charter more. You don't, you don't value America or the founding fathers or anything they stood for, traitors. Get your church out of my fucking school now, shitheads. What the fuck's problem with you? You're not American. You're traitors. You're the one pushing pretty much anti-founding father belief. You're pushing something against the founding fathers. Just disgusting. And you, you talk about 1776 patriot, patriotism all the fucking time. Yeah, nah, you don't believe in shit all in America if you're churching up that school. You don't believe in, in America at all. You're the problem. I know none of the rest of them will, will be nasty enough to say it to your fucking face. You keep churching up the schools. Let's see, what can I do to really annoy you? I will turn all of the Christian churches into homeless shelters, whether they like it or not. Let's see what you actually, how you do when you actually have to love, love, love your brother. I'd like to see how well you do. Do you say this is going to help? So far, all it's done is hurt. Okay. <laughs> That's 0 and 1 is their starting record. All right, we'll get to that uh, story and how you can fight back, too. Of course. It does feel like an ominous warning, and yeah. they're not going to. Yeah, thanks for churching up our schools, you fucking idiots. Thanks, you anti-American pieces of shit. Go vote for your anti-American piece of shit who, who's a fucking felon more. Good job. Thanks for churching up our schools, you anti-American fucking traitors. Go against the Founding Fathers further. I'm going to say it's six or seven times. Go against the Founding Fathers further, you fucking traitors. You're not actually Americans. Churching up that school further against the fucking charter, against the fucking, you know, against everything that we believed in in this country for the last 300 fucking years. And and, and, and repealing Roe versus Wade and just acting like a General Hitler all the fucking time isn't really sitting well too, well too well with me. And the further that you push the charter back, it set us back in country relations and state relations and fucking race relations and fucking, you know, and churching up our schools and all the shit the founding fathers didn't want you doing. I need you to ask yourselves this. Are the things you you know will do, um are the things you're doing gonna make baby Jesus cry? 
do you, I, I think baby Jesus probably really wanted America to have separation of church or state or Mar America would not have separation of church and, church and state. Right. So if you go against it and fight the founding fathers and go against the charter, right. And go against everything we stand for, for the last 325 years. How are you not essentially like a, a bad actor inside of our walls you know, traitoring up the place, essentially. That is not American things that you are doing. Those are anti-American things that you are doing. We keep our churches and states separate in America. I know that you never went to a civics class or read a book or, you know, ever read a textbook or anything. You probably fucked off during class all day in the public schools that you, that we all let let go to shit, like me. I don't. I get it, you know. But, uh, yeah, there there is such a thing as, you know... The Constitution. Shall we read this next and, and slay some more shithead, white, right-wing, Bible belt-thumping idiots more? Shall we slay some more live and in real time? Shall we read the Constitution to them? You know, that one thing it talks about separation of church and state that we've had and held sacrosanct for 300 and some odd years or whatever the math is, 200 and some odd years, right? What is it now? It's 2024. So we've been around for 224 years at least and then another 14. So we've been here for about, you know, what, 40, 240 years. Yeah. For 240 years, we have held these truths to be self-evident that that all people and all, all men and all women and all everything is created equal. And we wrote a constitution a long time ago that said that the churches in the states... We are, well, I'm sorry, yeah, the churches, the church and the state will always remain equal. Do you know why we have this law? It's because the church took over the, the, the state of, well, the country of France. And Louis the the Fourteenth had to, like, you know, pay the church every time he cheated on his wife or slept with a child or did cocaine or whatever. So the church ended up with 95% of France. And this is why George Washington was fucking terrified of having a church in a fucking school. You piece of shit, anti-American traitor, right wing, Bible belt thumping fuckers. And I will not stand here while you act like Americans and tear down the charter. You are a piece of anti-American shit. Get that fucking Ten Commandments out of our fucking school now, you piece of anti-American traitor shit. Get it out of here. You're against the Constitution. You fucked around in the courts and got your little win with some litigiousness or whatever the fuck. But nah, you're against the Bill of Rights and the fucking Constitution. You know you are. A constitutional lawyer would eat your fucking ass for fucking dinner if anybody in this country cared but me. Nobody in this country cares. Not one of them. They all watch their CNN and act like they do. But no, no, never the twain shall meet. The, the Ten Commandments are on the wall in the school, aren't they? You know, we care about it. We watch it on CNN and we talk about it and all this. Yeah, you know, we watch it. But no, I'd like to go down there and pretty much accuse these people of being traitorous anti-Americans who put a church in our school and now have violated the charter and the uh, constitution and now here is my aclu constitutional lawyer uh jesse jackson's lawyer or whatever and he is here to hand you a hundred million dollar cease and desist order or we will hit you where it fucking hurts take that fucking ten commandments down out of that fucking school you anti-american stupid piece of shit and you are proud of what you do as you destroy america i am not proud of you traitor and uh, go against the charter further, and I'll call you nastier things. Read the Constitution. I know you're the I know you're a congressman, and you've never read the Constitution like I have. But read the Constitution and get back to me, sir. You fucking asshole. And uh, please do not try to destroy America any further with the illegal fucking subversions of our Constitution of the United States. Please do not violate that little girl's civil liberties and union rights and all these civil liberties and, and, and her rights and all this. Please do not violate all of those school children's civil liberties and rights. This country has laws and order for a fucking reason. You're supposed to be the Bible belting Republican law and order fucking party and in all this but no you don't believe in law or fucking order or you would have read the constitution and understood the separation of powers right separation of church and state the you know the 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 bill of rights and uh 
uh, yeah, so let's uh, do a crash course into the legalities of a church flying anything religious. That's no, right, a school uh, showing anything religious, right? Uh, what is the amendment? Or sorry, the uh, uh, separation. Which amendment? Oh, sorry, which um, which amendment is it? Amendment or is it the Constitution? I can't remember which one it is, but it's the, uh, which amendment is uh, separation of church and state? Churches are incredibly fucking corrupt, and so are governments. And the two should never fucking meet. And any American who thinks that they should, just over some spirituality, when they, when, when if they had a brain, they'd fucking understand how really bad church and state can be when they mix. But no, nah, they're idiot Americans from you know that just don't really know any better, never read a fucking constitution or anything like that, right? But yeah, um, so the separation of church and state is the First Amendment, meaning probably the most important one. And you were in a violation of it, you anti-American traitor piece of shit. I want to bandy about and call you something nice, like all your little Republican traitor friends who are sucking on your dick right now and violating the First Amendment and that little girl's civil liberties and rights. But uh, yeah, you are in violation of the First Amendment. You are a criminal, as far as I'm concerned. You're a rogue government actor who has subverted our courts and our laws to violate the First Amendment and, and hurt a bunch of children. And hurt a bunch of children and hurt, uh, you know, and hurt and hurt this country. And to me, you are an enemy to the state. I would I would treat you accordingly. You violate the First Amendment anymore, and I'll show up and I'll demand it. Now, I'm not some guy who knows ACLU lawyers, but I'm sure I could meet some. I'm sure I could call up a fucking thing and cause a snafu about you and you violating the First Amendment, clearly. But uh, apparently we don't have uh, the Constitution or laws or anything. We have a rogue government that just, you know, repeals the First Amendment whenever they want. Traitors. Anti-American traitors. Anti-constitutional traitors. Criminals. Liars. Thieves. In the temple. Subverting our commonwealth. Stealing it. And, uh, you know, just saying. You know, you can go on and put your shitty ass fucking Christian bullshit fucking fantasy Ten Commandment bullshit on the fucking wall if you want. And violate all of our First Amendment rights and all this, and violate that school, and just violate everybody, right? That's what all the the the, right, the Bible thumbing Christians are about, right? Yeah, just violate everybody, violate the amendment. Who cares? Fuck church and state. We uh, fuck the founding fathers. Fuck what this country stood for. Fuck the laws and fuck the Constitution, I guess, right? Uh, if these things don't exist. No, we can just throw up the Ten Commandments in the school and change the laws if we need to. In Louisiana, we really need that. We really need to violate the First Amendment in in Louisiana. We really need God to violate the First Amendment in Louisiana. You know, and it's like, no, no, uh, you are in violation of the First Amendment. You are a traitorous American who is actively working against the Commonwealth. You have subverted a school. You have violated the rights of probably hundreds of children. You are an incredibly bad fucking actor. You are bad for this country, sir. You are akin to a traitor. Now, I would never string you up for this because all you did was try to put you know, Ten Commandments in a school, right? But you know what we do to traitors who work against the First Amendment and work against the Commonwealth? Do you remember what we do? You know? <laughs> I mean, because we have a law about this, and, and just because you dreamed up some fucking subvert or something in, in Louisiana for state law or something. No, we have a federal law. We have a federal law. It's the First Amendment, not the 17th or something. The First Amendment. They were dead serious about this. Separation of church and state. It was the first and foremost thing on their fucking minds. You are violating everything America stands for. I consider you about the same as Hitler. Or, or I don't know, who worked against us, right? Uh, the government. Uh... Has anybody ever actually attacked us except our own government? We've had American embassies attacked. We've we fought in World War II, but has anybody attacked the sovereign land of America except its own government? No. And I think that's time to change. 
I think it's come time to change. I know that nobody has the balls to fucking say it up there in that do-nothing Congress fucking coffin full of fucking, you know, the, the, the crypt keepers, right? But I mean, eh, First Amendment actually means something and you just watch some asshole fucking Southern good old boy shit all over it right on CNN television and shit. Do you have any power in that fucking Congress? Do you do anything at all? anything at all i see you talking about how uh jack off republican do nothing republicrat fucking traitor has a prius instead of doing your fucking jobs uh but i don't see any of you doing anything for the last 67 years beyond some build back better and what like uh you know some obamacare which is great you know not downplaying the good the wins you know but besides getting us in foreign wars attacking your own citizens and getting us all sick what what have you done in the last 67 years as the as as, as the american government I, i'd like you to name something beyond beyond you know keeping the roads repaired and, and the schools running i, I like you for doing that I will, I will credit you for it you know but i mean like in terms of stopping any problems or any wars or you know preventing paradise from burning or uh or any of that stuff have you actually done anything except attack your own country in the last 70 years or watergated or corrupted up the place you know sooner or later i don't i really don't believe this is what the founding fathers wanted they really don't believe so it's right there in the first amendment separation of church and state but there you are actively subverting america working against the commonwealth like a full-blown traitor right in our fucking ranks like benedict fucking blushes when he looks at you benedict didn't do something as evil as what you're trying to do subvert the first amendment a benedict i mean seriously was not as bad a traitor as you you know and i'm sorry but that makes you a traitor you go against the first amendment i mean i mean it's the first amendment didn't go anywhere didn't go anywhere so yeah, I'll be angry at you and I'll cuss at your fucking shitty Southern Bible Belt, low IQ, one in five illiterate fucking problems and all this other stuff, you know? I know that you've been coddled by this do-nothing Congress, but I like, honestly, like every problem that crops up, I just cite the goddamn law and why you're, 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 you're against it, you know? It's just weird. It's like weird. Anyways, I'm... get tickets for i'm gonna get off this subject i'm sorry how many times you bought alex jones always brings it up in me i remember when i saw alex jones break into the bohemian fucking grove where george bush and junior and george bush fucking senior were jacking off on each other in a fucking coffin i saw it too and like yeah i've always kind of liked alex jones and kind of believed that the government was the bad bad actor maybe you know a little bit kind of when i saw the skull and bones thing and kind of when i saw the 9 11 thing and kind of when i saw the COVID thing and the kind of when i saw the watergate thing and kind of when i saw the jfk thing and kind of when I saw the mlk thing and i kind of saw the john lennon thing and i saw the fbi thing and the cia thing and the afghanistan thing and the fucking middle east thing and what have we done what have we really done in the last 70 years except it, it, it like guns germs and steel you know have we actually created anything have we fixed any problems beyond like the, the the healthcare thing i think we fixed the healthcare thing thank god for fucking obama and a and a politician that only had a corrupt cabinet not himself you know Bought tickets using I mean, we never would have had the 2008 bank crisis without a corrupt cabinet but i mean he inherited it SeatGeek before, head over and use Ryland 10 for 10% off your tickets right now. So take out your phone, open your SeatGeek app and add code Ryland 10 to your account. I'm serious, don't wait because this offer is only available for a limited time. Once again, that is code Ryland 10 for 10% off your tickets at SeatGeek. SeatGeek, thank you so much for sponsoring today's vlog and I hope you all enjoy it. What the hell? What? I didn't know we were wearing our wiener hats today. Bitch, we wear our wiener hats every day. Are you kidding me? You're really gonna wear your wiener hat? When's the last time you saw me when I wasn't wearing a wiener hat? I didn't Close know. Close my you cup. Oh <laughs> my god. Fuck, we need to get something to help me get up in this bitch. Hey mama. Hey. Whoa, this is a big cup. I know. What's going on with you? <gasps> It's my anniversary and I didn't know. <laughs> 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 <Hold on>. <laughs> <laughs> it was my anniversary and I didn't know. I oh my god. Have down how to vlog. Wow. Wow. Whoa. I was rushing so fast out of the house. 
that I backed straight into the garage and my rear view mirror flew off. Flew off? <laughs> so Elizabeth and I, we're going to Sweet Butter. We are I, going to Sweet I wondered if I caught it on my camera, me running into my garage <laughs> and it falling <laughs> off and then me being like, oh fuck! Oh, I love that fucking neighborhood. I wanted to leave! I don't know why. I love those trees. That garage has like a please hit me energy. How did you figure out it was your anniversary? My mother-in-law texted, happy anniversary, and I was like, what is she talking about? <laughs> my first thought was, what? <laughs> okay, we're going to breakfast. I told Elizabeth, I said, oh my god, it's sunshiny. Well, this is deceiving. I said, oh my god, it's blue skies, it's beautiful. I was going to go to yoga, but because it's great. Wow. You know what? This looks okay. No, look at this in front of us. That's gray as hell. That is gray as hell. <laughs> but it'll go away. I was like, oh, I can't go to an indoor workout because of how gorgeous it is outside. And then I'm coming towards Elizabeth and it's getting grayer and grayer and grayer. And I said, if Haley Bieber doesn't meet us at breakfast, then I, oh. <laughs> She's not going to. You don't think so? Doesn't she live where you live? Look no. At, these people just walk with no dogs sometimes. Isn't that weird? Well, they're just trying to get their steps. I'm honestly a step queen too right now, and I have Shane being addicted to being a step queen, and now it's a competition, although he's doing 25,000 a day, and that's psychotic. Yeah, that's double, right? That's double plus five. It's so bad that they asked him to take a mental health survey when he opened his health app, because he went from 4,000 steps a day to 25, and they were like, hey, are you okay? The fact that you just said that on the internet is kind of <laughs> Why not? It, I don't know. That's the, I think that that's his husband. He can say that they're married. What? They literally ask if you're okay. I think that's his business. I guess if you change that drastically, what the hell? Yeah, they don't like it when you change drastically. I lost like a hundred pounds, and they they they, 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 like, they tracked me. They made me come in like so many times. Um, I don't know. <laughs> you know where we're going? Ish. We'll see you guys at breakfast. So Ish. You where are they? They're in... Really? Don't feel insecure. Downtown? About wearing that out and about. No, I went for a walk with Joe the other day and had the shits and had to break into a restaurant to poop wearing a Kevin Bacon shirt. They're, they're in, um, they're in Westside Denver, down from Golden, probably to eat at, like, the Mr. Beast Burger or something like that. And they're, they're in, uh, they're at, they're at 39th and J Street. It's 39th and J Street. I know my city. I own my city. I ran that city. You understand me? That is my city. I swear to God. I am my, I'm my city son. I know every inch of that motherfucker, every alley, every bit of it. I know, I know every corner, every fucking house. No shame about I'm that. a Denver fucking institution, motherfucker. I really am. I skateboarded every street, biked all over that motherfucker, bike packs, dro driving, was a delivery driver and a taxi driver for 13 years. I was a taxi driver in the city for 13 years. And, like, and, and people knew me and shit. I ran with the Somali crew down in the fucking downtown and shit like that. And like, and, and, um... Yeah, and like I am a Denver institution. I can, I do not have the luxury of of anonymity. I would say my real name online, but I don't think it's very fair to my family, you know. Or I would. I would just say my real real name online. I, I am very famous in my city. <laughs> I was the lead singer for eight years. I miss my city so fucking bad. I miss it so bad. I miss it. I miss it. It's just maybe what's fucking me up the most. I miss my home so bad. Joe came and knocked. I miss my home so bad. Yeah, they are. They're they're like 30th, 40th and J, something like that. I'm like, I just want to make sure you're okay. And I was like, obviously I'm not. There's a Mr. Beast Burger on 36th and Park Park, I think Park Place or some Park Place. It's a uh, Mr. Beast Burger is over uh, West Side Denver. Uh, was on 38th and like J Street or something like that, right? I think. Yeah, the locations in 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 Denver, uh, Denver, Mr. Beast, West Side Denver, right? But uh, yeah, choose the area. Oh, I don't know. Uh, Yeah, I don't know. Mr. Beast Burger, Denver locations, I guess. And I, I think like they're they they're over in that direction where the Mr. Beast Burger is. It's like 40, 40th and J. Uh, Denver, Colorado. Yeah, where's the not now? No. Um. No. Yep. What's the address? It's twenty one twenty seven Curtis. Oh, they moved it. They moved it downtown to Park Avenue. Oh my god, they did. They moved it to 21st and Curtis. 
Jesus Christ, that place was a piece in the crap, like, hole in the wall up on the west side on 38th and, and, like, J Street or something like that for a long time. And now they moved it down to Curtis and 21st, which, which is, like, prime fucking real estate. That's, like, some of the, the Denver institutions are probably pissed about it. They're like, what's this dude from out of town getting 21st and Curtis for, you know? But, I mean, it's Mr. Beast. They, they, they probably really want to support him because he probably brings some, some like, tourism to Colorado, probably, frankly. I can't believe celebrity has such the power. I can't believe I, I chose a job that could become a celebrity. I don't want to be a celebrity. I really don't. I'd be okay living in obscurity, cussing at the government, smoking my weed, and playing my fucking games, you know? I'd be okay. I, I, I really don't... Um, I don't really desire what he has. I really don't want it. To me, it looks like a curse. I can't believe that they moved his restaurant to downtown. That's just insane. His shit was not like that. He, his, his restaurant was not that good for a couple of years. Uh... Obviously, I'm not okay. <laughs> See, for me, there's confidence in numbers. I was wearing it alone yesterday because I was running out the house and I go, oh, I forgot a hat. And then I ran into a neighbor walking his dogs and I'm just alone as a gay man wearing an I Love Wieners hat. It's obvious it's hot dogs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't love hot dogs. I literally have Joe taking pictures of me in this hat. I don't love hot dogs, but I like them. Please send it to someone. They're good to eat like once a year. <laughs> Sometimes I eat sausage, because sausage is okay, but it only healthy sausage from, like, Whole Foods and stuff. Okay, fine. We're definitely going to have to pee first. Part of me wonders if I was ever even having breakfast. It's, um, it's, oh my god, it's like a block from where I used to live. It's, it's, uh, it's the DU neighborhood, that's Denver University, and it's, like, if I had a number on a house, I would know, but it's, like, oh, I love those trash cans. Um, it's... 2100 south sorry 21 yeah 2100 south i'd have to pull the map to get the exact street let's look at the denver du neighborhood street map right and i think they're um I'm not stalking them, by the way. I'm just, you know, I just like Denver. I can, I can nail the street that I'm on in Denver because I used to do a lot of drugs and stuff. So I, can, I like, I even know what street I'm on in Denver based off what cars are there. It's fucking crazy. I love my city. Uh, Denver neighborhood map. Uh, yeah, yeah, there, that, that, that'll probably do. So over here, no, that won't do. I need that. No, that's better. Wait, you're not loading. Can Google even do an image anymore? Oh my god. Uh, uh, no, apparently you can't. Jesus Christ, you suck dick at that. Wow. I mean, I'm not even going to embarrass you or me any further. I mean, Jesus Christ, man. Right, Google is worthless now. Do you even, like, get information anymore? Or what? Your maps don't seem to work. None of your images load. <laughs> like, is Google dying? <laughs> like, I've never seen Google, Google act that bad. Oh, no. Gee online beauty community is well known for being filled with drama and crazy content creators the eye cream is an exact ripoff of tatcha the component everything yes it is oh yes a bit if you look up crazy eyes did you see him all three people in the room create oh her too see the crazy eyes it's it's like it's a good way to tell indigo children we have the, the crazy autistic eyes it's probably because they stuck us with a vaccine when we were young but most of these streamers and creators that are top 50, they were all crazy autistic guys. You can see it. They were probably stuck with vaccines when they were a kid that twisted their brains. It gave them special powers of charisma and stuff like that. I really believe this. It sucks, but I kind of do. You can see from the eyes, it's a dead giveaway when you know what to look for. Watch now. now look, look at his. Look at his eyes. It's it's the exact same. Marilyn Manson's eyes are like that. They're, they're all like this. The weird Indigo children. Yes, it is. There, she's got it. They've all got it. It's you weird. I, it's weird. It's weird. You can you can nail indigo children by the color of their eyes and how big they are. You can like you can you can tell which ones are which and all this. It's crazy. Beauty community drama. Something will probably show up. I haven't looked it up. But Looking back, the drama going around YouTube beauty. Yeah, because be yeah, it. like man, it's weird because yeah. Edit of someone typing. This is my ex girlfriend's favorite streamers. And so she taught me them all, so I know them all. Toddy and fucking 
you know, Ch James Charles and fucking uh, Shane Dawson, Jeffrey Star, Jojo Siwa. Uh, there's like a whole bunch in this whole career. There's a whole bunch of these fucking faces and stuff. And they all started fighting each other just because they're all friends and they know that if they fight with each other, there will be a lot of money. Beauty community. And they're all kind of getting to be like 35 or 40 now, like me. So they, they don't like like Shane Dawson is probably like 36 or something like that, right? Or 32? I don't know. But um like uh they're all starting to age and so they know that if they don't fight with each other in all the drama circles and stuff they won't sell makeup and they, they won't stay rich so they all fight they, they all pick fights with each other and i'm fairly sure that the, the the community doesn't know this but i do i mean i don't know how they don't know it <laughs> but i do i've seen enough videos to know these people they choose fights with each other they even admit it sometimes they'll, they'll full-blown admit it on camera sometimes they'll be like yeah I, I like like uh i didn't like logan paul but i actually really did and so i, I picked a fight with him and then we then we fought for a year and we slept with each other's girlfriends and, and all this stupid shit and like and, and they all know each other they all have, they're all in the same fucking dms and snapchats and shit and they all talk to each other at the, at the twitch cons and, and the hotel parties during that week and so they're not dumb they're they're like co-workers really and they and they have different cliques and this this i would say is about as far from the right wing clique that oompaville is in which is probably why he's he's saying that somebody here is insane we'll Drama. we will see and then showing you what pops up doesn't but he, he probably really doesn't like these people i bet like honestly there's less than i thought but i don't know that about him i, I don't know if he doesn't like them or not i bet he probably dislikes that they're kind of vacuous creators to do beauty and makeup he probably dislikes that part of it because he's like a you know he's like a manly man dude or whatever he has like a candy factory he's a manly man with a candy factory <laughs> i'm sorry i just heard the sentence that came out of my mouth he's a manly man with a candy factory <laughs> he's a little candy ass sorry uh he's a grown man with guns and dogs and you know a light a life and you know a ranch and i think and, and all this other stuff right i, I like him but i think he's a good guy and got no issue with him right but uh he's the manly man type you know and i don't think this is his crowd so if, if there was like a polar opposite to oompaville it's gonna be jeffree star <laughs> But still, a lot of product sales in the beauty community. He knows what he's talking about. I would say a lot of people who aren't attractive young females or dating attractive young females. I doubt he... I, I'm very surprised that he even knows what he's talking about. Because you you need to be dating like a, like a model type who puts on makeup all day and stuff like that. And goes out to the clubs or, or like, you know, like, like works like, you know, model jobs and stuff like that. Supermodel types will know who Jeffree Star is. Which is how I know. <laughs> well, I don't know how Oompaville would know who Jeffree Star is. He might know through Shane Dawson, I guess. Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star did a... Um, a makeup palette, which is like a makeup compact thing that has all kinds of different colors in it and stuff. Called Conspiracy Together. And it sold like $200 million dollars. And ensured that Shane Dawson would never want for money again. And they did a whole fucking thing thing about it. The whole Shane Dawson. They had their falling outs with each other. And they had their conspiracy. He had his conspiracy line. Which, Sh which Jeffree Star you know, supported and stuff. But I know all this. Because my ex-girlfriend is, is like a supermodel type. Who does makeup tutorials all day. Because she's fucking like the most gorgeous woman in the western hemisphere. At least if not the world. And like... And so I learned who, who all these people are through dating, with, like being in her life. You know, we, we dated and didn't, we did and didn't, we lived with each other, but didn't date, we did and did, we lived with each other. It's complicated. She's a complicated person, you know, and so am I. And so uh, uh, Shane Dawson uh, and, and Jeffrey ensured that they would be rich and in the scene for the rest of their lives. Uh, Jeffrey did this by just being the most popular trans person probably in the world, I believe. I don't think there's a bigger one. No? Uh, maybe RuPaul is bigger? 
Uh, but yes, and uh, and the only reason I know all this is I hang out with hot girls who look at makeup tutorials all day and and look at drama videos, right? And the makeup community knew this, and Shane Dawson kind of made an unholy union with the makeup community, which is something I would love to do. And I told, I, I kind of bribed my ex girlfriend. I was like, I would love to, to like, I would love to, 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 to like do editing for you or recording and stuff. And I want you to do uh, makeup tutorials because I think you would be very happy doing that. And she was like, I would. I would be very happy doing that. I was like, I can teach you how. And, and things just didn't work out. A man tried to kill me and then threatened her life. And she left. And I don't blame her. And then I went to the madhouse and got clean. And she got clean and all this other shit. It was just, you know, it's like, and, um, and, oh, he was unhappy during the office. Yeah, I bet he was. He was an unhappy guy. He was unhappy with the office. I wonder about that. Yeah. But, um, so, and, and so I want, I, I, I really respect what Shane Dawson did with, um, uh, Jeffrey Starr with the unholy union of all three of the Shane Dawson first reels, um, first real YouTube personality. What, uh, and he, 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 he had his own like teenage, like kind of emo scene. Uh, uh, first people on YouTube, first generation of, 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 of content providers on YouTube. Right. And, uh, then, uh, and then there was the unholy union of Shane Dawson's whole people with Jeffrey Starr's makeup crowd, James Charles, Tati, Jeffrey Starr, and all the drama. JoJo Siwa. There's like a whole bunch of other ones that she showed me, but I can't remember them all because it's a gener two gen two two. They're not one. I mean, uh, Jeffrey Starr and and Shane Dawson's uh, generation is like um, like the young millennials, and and I'm like the oldest day oldest year in the in the young millennials and and i'm like right on the cusp of uh what is it uh generation x i'm like the i'm like the last day of generation x first day of um what's it young millennials right and so i saw the i saw the i saw 9 11 live in real time but i but i don't really know about the 80s i was i, was, I wasn't really alive in the 80s i mean, was alive in the 80s but i wasn't like cognizant in the 80s really so, you know, I don't know about the 80s. I didn't grow up on the 80s. I grew up on the 90s and the 2000s and stuff. And I don't know where I'm going with this. It's just kind of funny. It's like the unholy union of Shane Dawson's initial creator crowd. People like Toddy. People like Jeffree Star. People like... Um, the, and then they did their makeup. Uh, and, and Jeffree Star did makeup palette launches with Shane Dawson and they did each other's makeup and they used to be friends with James Charles and there was drama with that and I don't know much about the James Charles things because I'm not a young either teenage to young 20s girl and I'm not dating a young 20s girl anymore so I don't know but I mean I, I had to learn I didn't have to but I, I, I it was quite fun actually I had to learn I did a deep dive into all of these people she was delighted to, to know that I had never ever seen like a Shane Dawson video or anything like that and so she showed me like all of it. She showed me everything Shane Dawson ever did. She showed me everything James Charles ever did. She showed me everything Jeffree Star ever did. At that time when we were living with each other, Jeffrey and, and Shane were on top of the YouTube crowd because they were like doing the, the, uh, the makeup uh, palette reveal for conspiracy. And uh, I, you know, it's, it, it's funny because I really wanted to buy the the conspiracy makeup palette for my for my best friend, and I never did do that. I totally spaced it. I pr I promised her I would buy her uh, a really really awesome current makeup palette, but then um, her whole crowd canceled Shane Dawson for coming on a cat. Um, I don't think um, Jeffrey or Shane are young enough for somebody like my best friend anymore, unfortunately. And, uh, and all of that was kind of bad for Shane, I would say. He kind of gained some weight. It was stressful. They accused him of being like a child molester and, a, and, a, and an animal molester and a weird pervert and all this. But the Shane Dawson that I've seen, which is every single fucking video, we watched like every Shane Dawson video for three months. 
or something. It took forever. He has so much stuff. It took forever. We, we watched Shane, Dace, Shane Dawson for like three weeks or something like that. It was insane. I just kept watching everything he ever did. And I learned everything he ever did. And, I, and, and part of that helped inspire me to come do this. But an, another part of it was like they built this unholy union between the greatest genius in YouTube marketing, which is Jeffrey Star built a makeup company from the ground up and and sold to morphe and all those other makeup palette people and all those makeup companies and stuff and those people they charge fifty dollars for a stick of lipstick they charged 150 dollars for 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 a compact and they charge like 700 dollars for a makeup palette and shit like this and the brushes are all 40 dollars and shit and so all the all the little girls of the supermodel scene are, are are walgreens thieves i've dated some models in my life i know that sounds like a lie but i have and they're all little sneak thieves that like to steal makeup from walmart because those guys see the girls coming and i have some sympathy i help them steal sometimes I'll, i will help girls steal makeup from walmart and Shit, because you know what it costs to buy makeup from fucking walgreens it's like nine hundred dollars <laughs> it's insane it's it's like it's like four hundred to nine hundred dollars it's the same when you see the price you're like oh no i can't buy this makeup no and and, and so i have i and several times i have hot i have helped super hot model type girls steal from walgreens and macy's and shit like not macy's but the uh, the fucking park meadows mall and shit like that right because like I, I really have some sympathy for the beauty crowd. All of those people like Jeffree Star, they overcharge for makeup palettes and shit like that. They charge like 200 to 300 times what it's worth and what it costs to produce. It's not that cheap to produce, but it's not that expensive either. So, I mean, it's kind of funny. And so they charge thousands of dollars to the richest, most successful people in the world. And so they were geniuses. Like everybody will talk to you about how, how, how fun and smart OTK is, which is like the Southern right wing, like, you know, Austin streamers and stuff, right? As, As uh, Asmongold and Tom Dark and, fucking miss kiff and you know uh amiru and and uh 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 the the steak and eggs podcast and all this stuff i had to learn all this stuff because i figured i might be a contender with them sooner or later right so i had to learn all of this shit it was insane i had no idea any of this stuff existed so i'm very surprised to see oompaville oh i'm not surprised i'm actually not surprised at all his girlfriend probably tracked all these people i would imagine but it, but it's funny that that he comes up because they're about polar opposites in terms of crowds oompaville is about as far from shane dawson as one can get i would think so it's kind of interesting to see him talk about them and that stands out for me so i'll go and look and and on top of it uh, I, I haven't been tracking these people at all since my, my best friend kind of le like like kind of left my life physically anyway. She's still in my life, you know, mentally. We talk a lot, but but uh, the the uh, the the like you know the reality was like all these people kind of crumbled. I would say Tati kind of crumbled after the drama with James Charles. James Charles had a falling out, but he's still doing well. Shane Dawson's doing okay, and he's getting three point five million views on a mind blowing conspiracy theory uh, theories thing from this year, which is good. This is probably a really good video. I haven't seen it. Or no, I probably started it. But Oh, no, I have seen it. I've seen this. So, um, but yeah, Mind Blowing, he did a lot of stuff with Conspiracy Theories, which was his attempt to get re YouTube to re-love him. But I, I don't think the videos were, were that good. They were just, you know, they were entertaining. They were good YouTube stuff. They were schlocky and good. He's a film and TV agent now, and he has like a hundred million dollars due to the due to the Jeffrey Star deal because of the because of the makeup palette and all this. And so now we'll go and see what Oompaville has to say about them. That's kind of interesting, actually. And that's cool, you know. It's cool. Cause yeah, was... like 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 girls buy makeup. I dislike how much they charge them for it. It's kind of like fucking children out of bo out of baby milk or something like that or diapers. It's it's disgusting. Like the world can see women coming. And I feel so bad for them when it comes to this. I'm actually really kind of like a male feminist in a lot of ways because it's like the world sees women coming. If they're going to buy something, the whole world marks it up. Women especially. If women are going to buy makeup, they mark it up. If women are going to buy clothes, they mark it up. If women are going to buy, they don't do that to us, but they absolutely do it to, to women. And I know because I dated a lot of hot girls in my life. And I watch what they spend on, on money and fucking clothes and you know, and all that stuff and makeup and all this. And almost all of them were like consummate teenage Walgreens thieves because they can't afford $900 worth of makeup. But they're also the hottest girl in the school. And if you're the hottest girl in the school, you have to have makeup, you know. 
so so you know so like i have some sympathy for this like 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 i would say that the the current capitalist system is actually fairly fucking sexist and also fairly exploitive of children believe it or not women and children they don't do it to us that much they'll do it for like motorcycles guns certain types of food and beer stuff that they know men like stuff like sh razors and shit like that they'll hit us and they'll see us coming you know but not really like they do to women women have to pay a lot for a lot more money to do the same things that we do and this is something that 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 you know always i always kind of knew but i didn't really see that much firsthand until like later in life when i was dating like kind of hotter girls you know well i mean i did date a lot of really beautiful women when i was young actually really hot like the two hottest girls in school but like but like like mid-20s and stuff i sort of was like more of a single man doing wow rating and stuff like that i did have a girlfriend almost always but i didn't really like live with a girl that much and uh now like li having lived with t with both a stripper the hottest stripper in denver and the hottest girl in boulder or whatever and 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 uh the the or whatever she doesn't live in boulder but you know i'm just saying a city um the you know the the, the reality is 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 they see women coming and i i i felt that part of what was so interesting about jeffree star was is he knows this he knows that, that that the whole world sees women coming when they buy makeup food fashion accessories clothing cars lingerie everything everything women buys is is, is just marked up to, to and i think they like it this way but they also don't it's 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 prohibitively expensive for for women in the lower class for for, for example and so you know even even and even in lower class you might still have a woman who is like the most beautiful woman on the planet that happens all the time so you know so you know i have some sympathy for women when when when, when it comes to, to to capitalism because the stuff that they buy is marked up like 10 percent at the very least almost everything everything they buy is marked up 10 percent. and so i learned about that too the another really fascinating thing about jeffrey star is is he's trans and he he's a he, he he's he was born male i believe but he was you know or i don't know maybe he was born hermaphrodite i don't know but uh but he but he he transitioned to woman and then uh and dresses female and identifies female and and is i don't know what you would call that i don't want to talk i don't want to put words in jeffrey jeffrey's mouth i respect him too much i don't want to talk about his personal life and or what his identification is or any of that shit that's not my business so uh but uh i saw this interesting thing where where the trans community kind of posed to take over the female beauty community and this sort of happened james charles and jeffrey star these two people i, I realize i might have some boomers here so i'll pull out the the actual pictures to the fucking faces right uh, so the faces to the fucking names but here's James Charles. The only reason I even know who this dude is is, is my ex-girlfriend was really into makeup people. But here's an here's an ex a perfect example of James Charles doing doing what he does best, which is makeup tutorials. And they all do makeup tutorials, which get millions and millions and millions of hits because every woman in the world needs makeup advice. Pretty much every woman in the world. It's kind of how like every man in the world wants to know how to probably fix cars or shoot guns or play video games or 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 learn how to farm or whatever manly pursuits or whatever right uh the uh or whatever you know or or, or smoke cigars or shoot pool that kind of thing like like the makeup tutorial people they make buku buku money like they they get all the women in the world if you don't believe me come and look at the hits 23.8 million and this is a this is a trans Male, man who went female who um is selling makeup to women primarily although also people in the trans scene as well no problem you know no problem reaching everybody it's selling makeup pretty much to everybody everybody all genders all you know he's unisex which is fine by me often shampoo and stylists are unisex they do both styles they're required to i have no issue with that i, I think unisex salons kind of lead to a bisexual lifestyle i've always i've always thought that because they're doing both both hairstyles all the time you know 
so whatever and that's that this whole scene and they and those people say what you want about them they can have crazy drama problems and they can be kind of crazy and, and go crazy on drugs and stuff like that but one of thing one of one thing you can never say about them is they're never not popular james charles is never not popular shane dawson is never not popular the uh the uh uh jeffree star is never not popular they're they're as popular as these movie stars they're they're the, when they jet set the world people show up when they drive around in cars people people pull up next to them and start screaming and waving and being like i love you and shit like that like john lennon and shit these people are the true superstars of the world now that they've fallen off and there's a new top 50 now right like top top 50 content creators right top 50 content creators and none of these people that i'm mentioning are at the top like they used to be they're all sort of like retired now and they're living off of this wonderful 23.8 and they do a video once every you know i don't know i don't know how often james posts let's let's go see 13 days ago this stuff is important for me because these people stretch across like five to ten genres right they do drama they do react they do makeup, they do trans stuff, they do gay stuff, they do, like, I wouldn't do any of the trans or gay stuff, but I would do all the rest of it except for the makeup. I, I, would, I would let my ex-girlfriend do my makeup if she wanted to do a video or something, but I, what, she's, what she's done, she's done my makeup, like, three times or something like that. But, like, uh, uh, you know, but I, I wouldn't relish doing it. I would never do makeup videos, you know. That's just not my style. I have been kind of like a straight male all of my life, and I don't really identify with it. But I do like the scene, and I don't mind it. And I think it's all fabulous or whatever, you know. So so now uh, the the scene has kind of crumbled but they're still getting their hits and they're still making a living off this and they're still able to have you know thousand dollar pairs of sunglasses and shit and all that they're still able still able to do unedited makeup tutorial this is what james charles looks like before he does makeup and stuff and you can see how he's got he's not necessarily doing like a full trans vibe he's doing the unisex vibe and i don't know if you've got maybe you guys are more rural or something like that i'm not i mean, i'm rural now but the unisex thing they, i mean they may they may find it about south park with queer or or you know about queer eye and the straight guy and all this but i mean like the unisex thing was very strong for the last 20 years in the in in the big major metropolitan cities and so this what the one thing that you could say about all of these people is is there is they are definitely popular definitely fucking popular they're popular they're on they're on national television shows they're you know they're they're, they're, they're you know these are popular people they jet set they, they they go all over the world they're rich they live the fabulous lifestyle and they and, and and nobody could say look at this picture look at this picture that james charles did and you couldn't say that he isn't an artist look at it tell me this man is not an, an accomplished artist you know i think the browns are beautiful a lot of people don't and I think that was what his point was, is a lot of people don't like, you know, the brown hair, the brown eyebrows, the brown butchy boy thing or whatever. A lot of people don't like brown. And so that was the whole point of this picture. And I think he wanted to say that he's painted brown and that's okay. I, I have no issue with that. And so, and, but I don't watch a lot of these videos ever. I don't watch their makeup tutorials because I don't wear makeup. I don't watch Shane Dawson because I'm not some teenage vacuous, you know, fucking teenager. I'm not, you know... I'm not some like I am some drama person, so I tend to I do tend to follow that side of their whole thing, but they stopped doing drama like six or seven years ago. They stopped a long time ago, and so now uh, now I'm very surprised to see their names in his mouth, Umpaville, because it's weird because like one of the things that I I I wouldn't ever do is probably try and attack Shane who has 20 million subs, or try and attack like any of these people any of them because they are like the old youtube mafia and i respect them and i think they taught me everything i know i've watched all of their videos even even ryland uh shane dawson's boyfriend i've seen almost all his videos you know i've seen almost everything in their crowd and everything that they have to to, to fucking offer i've even seen other weirder ones that, that my ex showed me like amelia fart is a really interesting person i would say for her own reasons i wouldn't say i don't like her how hard she tries yeah so here's her really here was a really fucking popular video with 675,000 views and stuff that's been around a lot i don't want to die and not say that i tried to do this with everything that i had and so every time that i think i'm over the top or i'm you know 
talking too much about the government or I'm talking too much about rebellion or fucking craziness or, or, or being a madman or, or any of the shutter or I'm pushing the envelope too much. I remember that there's people like Amelia Fart th that are getting 675,000 views with a scarf around her chin and, and things on her eyes and, you know, a pink dress and she's out in the woods. She'll fry eggs on a public, t on a public, uh, you know, on a public that in, in a public bathroom and stuff like that she is an, a, a genuinely odd person and i think that i'm not odd enough i did not know this until max girlfriend kind of crashed me in it but like i am not odd enough when you when you really look at what youtube has i am not odd enough and i know this i, I fundamentally know this so i'm constantly pushing the fucking envelope in the ways that i know i have known how to do it which is being a punk singer so what does a punk singer do they yell about the government right so that's why you see all that stuff I, i'm not some crackpot you know conspiracy theorist who lives in those worlds and lives on reddit and reads forums all day or anything like that no i was a punk singer and i really want the change in the world that i scream about you know i really want these things that i scream about i really do you know I want them to stop fucking us in the video game industry and fucking children in the video game industry. I want them to stop screwing, o screwing us over with rent. I want them to stop with their isms. I want, the I want them and, and them being pretty much anyone who isn't me, you know? I don't have an us and them. I want them to be everyone else in the world, you know? It's like a mission to civilize, like that movie or like that television show, uh, uh, the the newsroom. I'm I'm like Jeff Daniels on a fucking mission to civilize, and pretty much anybody else is them. I want I, I, like honestly. Anyways, I'm gonna move on, and we're gonna say what, see what Oompaville said. But now I've got to listen to a, to us to a to a, a Sorry, Sour Boys commercial. <laughs> but before I did, I hated it. Just kidding. I'm joking. I'm joking, by the way. I love Dr. Pepper. I, will, I, I love Dr. Pepper. I had one yesterday. I haven't had Dr. Pepper in like nine months. It was so fucking good. I love Dr. Pepper. I used to really love Dr. Pepper. Such a fucking good product. Prune juice and soda. I will. This is my product. I own this. Yeah, yeah, I bet you do. You know that? I own Dr. Pepper. I really don't like your weird arrow tattoo on your finger because it looks like something a poser would do. Sorry. That this is my thing. But I'm like a doctor. Now, I have a tattoo between my thumb and my th forefinger, which is your standard jailhouse tat. But the middle finger tat? I don't know about that. The pill doctor, though, not like Kind of scrubby little poser. Sorry. I don't mean some kind of insult to him. I'm sure he probably doesn't like the tattoo, honestly, anymore. I bet. Like a physician. Like a practice. I was smart enough to leave the anarchy symbol because <laughs> i actually am an anarchist like really am you know i don't believe in the order that they've done to this country and uh yeah i put an anarchy symbol between my my, my thumb and my forefinger <laughs> and i had it there for anybody to fucking see for 15 fucking years what i actually believed in for them to remember and they'd be like why are you dressed like a raver in a suit with a chain dressed like a mod with an with a punker anarchy symbol like you know between your your, fing your fingers and shit but you're dressed like a raver and i'm like i don't know but i don't like the system i don't like what it's done to my friends and i don't and I, and I really like the free love movement of raves i really think that raves could save the world and um and i really feel that it could change the world for the better and all this so i venerated the rave punker grunge scene and i dressed like a, a skateboarder grunge punk rock raver and I still do. And I, but I don't have the money to do it, right? So, and, 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 and I don't know. The, the tattoos, that was a thing. Certain things you don't do, like put finger tattoos on, right? Because most jobs will not hire you. Most jobs will not fucking hire you. And a true conformist. I'm oh, sorry, not a true conformist, but a true anti-conformist, uh, anti, you know, anti-establishment person, right? Uh, definitely often doesn't have real tattoos, believe it or not. I know everybody thinks that biker dudes with tattoos are all the rage and everybody thinks the cartel's in and there's all these gangs everywhere and, all, and tattoos are, are in and all the rough element and everything. But honestly, in the punker scene, the conformity of a tattoo... It's actually a lot more than you might think it would be. And so a lot of my friends didn't get them. 
I did. I got a small anarchy symbol tattoo that has faded. That's not between my th my thumb and my forefinger anymore. It's not even visible. You can't see it. It's totally gone. I love that it's totally gone. But it was there for 15 years. And everybody who ever met me knew exactly what I stood for and what I hated the minute they met me. They could see it right on my fucking hand. The rejection of my own government. And so I look at this weird finger arrow that seems to be pointing to him saying fuck you or something like that although i don't know what that tattoo means i'm not him i don't know whatever it means but i'm just saying like i'm looking for meaning that's not it the point is these people make i'm looking for meaning that's not it why would you like 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 scar the body that your mother gave you if you if you like i don't know if, if, if it's not for a message i really don't like people who get casual ass tattoos and it's weird because i came up in the punker raver scene with people who are covered in tattoos and shit like this but i actually really don't like casual tattoos i want the tattoo to have a message if you're gonna scar the fucking body that your mother gave you it better be for a real reason not some fucking arrow on your middle finger and that's why i don't like shit like that the anarchy symbol definitely painted me a very clear picture to anybody who fucking met me inside of three seconds exactly what i believed and that i was not some fucking you know some fucking industry tool or government guy i was like actually really like an a true anti-conformist in the way that like i won't vote for their politicians i won't pay them their taxes unless i have to i won't fight in their wars i won't support their politicians or vote for them unless somebody asks me to i want i want you know i really don't like them i wish they would die and like, <laughs> like honestly i don't want to hurt them or kill them i just wish they would fuck off and die now i don't like the establishment i really don't and i i, I wish all the courts to burn and I, I want all the criminals to go free open every cell in africa send them send them to africa you know send it over open every cell in attica send them to send them to africa i actually believe that see Nas was joking when he said it i actually believe it i fucking love Nas. i think Nas is the cypher he's like my almost my favorite rapper and like Nas talked about that a lot he was like open open the cells in africa like i don't know uh so look 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 see jeffree stars were 200 million and he brought shane dawson and kylie jenner and ryland and kat von d and and all these other people in with him and so it's not kylie jenner but he, he he brought shane dawson and ryland with him you know and he, he he was friends with them and and i want this kind of unity from people in professional respect out of peers and i don't think i'll ever get it i can talk all my fucking life i don't care but i mean i i don't know uh i don't think i'll ever get it i never even was conformist enough to have an identity like this I don't dress punk anymore. I don't have Ray. I'm I'm not a, a bad. I have a personality and it's extremely strong. You know, I'm a strong personality, abrasive person that you, most people can't stand. And like, I don't know what I'm trying to say here. It's just that like, I don't think I could ever be this kind of idol, but I respect the games and the strategies that they use to unite the people that they respected as peers and I wish to do this somehow myself, but I have never seen someone on YouTube like me. Maybe TYT or, uh, you know, there, I have seen someone on YouTube who is like me. I have. Um, her name is Katzper. She was my, the main reason I became a streamer. I told my friend Beg on this the other day. Like, like uh, she did um, a series on Seven Days to Die, which is how I found her. But I, I was also watching a lot of her other stuff because of uh, her main thing is a sandbox that I was interested in called yeah, Worm Online. And so I like her worm stuff. And when I watched her worm stuff, I ended up listening to uh, some of her videos on Worm Online. And I realized that she had no, no, no real problem with doing like 55 minute videos where she just had the people watching her play the game and and sure there might be an event going on like using a catapult to destroy fences and stuff like that right but like overall she would just bring them in for whatever she was doing that day on worm and i noticed a big difference between me and her it was that like uh Like, she was not there to 
uh like sell i don't think or move units or be like a personality or a content creator person that was maybe she did want to be super successful i bet she probably did but like on, honestly she, she put a lot of work into it i gotta tell you that she put she I, i've done more work than her now but but I, I couldn't say that until this year she, she's got a lot of shit you see it and so i saw these things that she did like five hours long for an epic dragon hunt adventure and i was like oh i can do five hour fucking videos of just them watching me do stuff Which and yeah she was she was absolutely like the only influence that i've had I, i'm not like jeffree star i'm not like fucking jank from tyt i mean i am like him but i'm not i'm not i don't want to be tyt i don't want to be jeffrey i don't want to be shane well i wouldn't mind being shane and, and like uh or i'm not shane but i, I wouldn't mind being I don't know. Like, I can't think of a famous couple that I like, but I would like to be a famous couple one day. I think that would be fun. And I guess Ace Family or something like that. That was one that my ex-girlfriend really liked, Ace Family. Like, I haven't looked at Ace Family in, in a while. And, like, I don't, I don't have anything in common with these people or any of their interests, but I like the way that they did their executions, and I used it. I stole it, I would say. I took a lot of their executions, not in these sort of styles of stuff, but in the way that it was slice of life. Like here's, here's, hey. here's Ace Family revisiting our first date together, right? This was like emotional for them and stuff. Yeah, hells yeah. On the beach probably, right? Yeah, like this stuff's cool. Now, I like, I like IRL streaming, but I wouldn't ever put a camera on my IRL stuff because I, 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 I consider myself a target to not only like the government, but the right wing. And, and also some man has tried to kill me I'm a target for I'm definitely a target for him and so I don't know like you know I, I got someone gunning for me I've got people that I probably piss off all the time I definitely had like seven stalkers that fucked with me one of them was particularly bad like there was you know there was uh you know there was uh yeah and and, and I, I don't really want this life that all these people seem to want I don't want all the cloud or, or any of that stuff I want the happiness do you see it they're like like sometimes they're incredibly happy fucking people and I was like oh they can find happiness in just being on camera all day and then when I realized it I was like oh maybe I can be a happy person again finally if I can just be on camera and, and, and tell the world what I actually fucking think about their fucking actions every single fucking day of my life I could actually be a happy person and have peace again I could you know I could I could feel peace I could I could say that 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 I told the world what I fucking thought of the the scam artist fucking disaster that they turned it into that killed my generation and hurt us all by the cold and and, and waged a, a drug war against us and and, and committed us and, and killed us over probation and stupid shit like that filed MIPs on all my friends when I was a teenager and sent their parents to fucking jail fucking fascists goose stepping through the fucking suburbs it was disgusting it was disgusting and I put I donned the anarchy symbol at the age of fourteen and I cast out every single bit of their fucking order and i don't want it in my life and and i don't share any of that with these people like that stuff i don't think they share that with me at all i think they're establishment people i like i think they like their nice houses in the hills like i don't know if you've ever seen Je jeffree star's house but it's fucking cr or at least before he broke up with his boyfriend it was fucking crazy it was so rich and so and, and like they then they're bougie they like bougie things i think bougie is wicked like literally quite wicked in almost a biblical term it's quite literally satan's fucking charm it's it's not too good bougie, bougie is not so good it's actually particularly fucking evil frankly the money in the beauty community it's against god it's sort of like 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 surplus that leads to luxury and la lavish expense is particularly evil in a world that isn't completely like like resource abundant and we aren't completely resource abundant. We don't have running like fresh water falling from, well, we do have running fresh water falling from the skies, but we don't have like running fresh rivers being reborn every single day, like a digital realm or something like that, that runs water that's always pure and clean and stuff. We don't have like a world full of resources that we can just burn forever. We don't really have that. We would, have, we would need to travel to the stars to be able to do that, I think. So, I don't know, but I know that this bougie lifestyle, I don't like what their their whole crew venerated. They like money. Like for instance, my best friend she'll she'll, she'll blatantly say, "I like money." And I'm like, oh, "Okay, cool. I don't care, you know." But I don't. You know, I don't like what people do for it. I don't like what 
it causes people to do. I don't like what they'll do to each other and their families for it. I don't like what I did for it. I don't like that. I don't like it when I have it because it's gone in a second. The budget is always cut nine months before I ever spend a dollar. So money feels like this thing that's already gone by the time I get it. I don't like money. I've never liked money. I don't like having it. I don't like spending it. I don't like shopping. I don't like anything that these people like. I'm, I'm pretty much the opposite of them. So it's kind of weird. But I wouldn't mind making an unholy union with some super hot fuck. I already shopped a girl for this, and I tried. I, I, I fucking I fucking tried. I really tried. I like shopped a girl and told her I. Want to make you famous and i want you to be a supermodel and i'll be your editor and i'll be a streamer and we'll get together and we'll be ace family and, and we'll have kids and we'll or whatever or not whatever you want i don't care we could be drug addicts it doesn't matter or fucking whatever but let's be let's be famous and rich so that you can be happy it wasn't about my happiness it's about hers you know i tried to draw her into it but she's like i'm not sure that's actually who i am and i was like okay that's valid and fair so i went and i did i went and i did a solo you know I went. I, I, I was like, "That's valid and fair. I can't argue with that one." And she was like, "I guess in the end, I don't actually want to be a personality on the internet." And I was like, "Okay, no problem. That's okay." And I, I, I backed off immediately. I was like, "Okay, I'm not going to press you anymore. I'm, uh, that's cool." And so I was like, "Well, I'm going to go do it." And I did. I went. And I did it. I went. and I did it. I just fired up one day, and I never stopped. I've been doing it every day since. That's sort of the point. I fucking love it. You know, it's like my true freedom. It's the freedom that the government never did give me. I, I was born with a fucking like a blood debt. Essentially, I, I've got a. I've got a, a, a quibble with the government that I don't want to talk about. I've got, like, you know, history with the government that I don't want to talk about. I've got history with the cops that I don't want to talk about. I was hunted by the police. I have hunted police. I don't like cops. I, I've got issues with these people. I don't like the way they ran this country. They treated our best American kids like fucking criminals. I'm sorry, but I don't have a lot of sympathy for them. I don't think them think of them as the same people. These people are okay with them. I'm not. I'm, I think Taylor Swift is okay with them. I'm not. I, I wish I wish this system to change, like very badly. And so I, I I I like I look at this and I think they're 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 before the grace of God go I right. You know, they're before the grace of God go I, essentially, like being rich and popular and, 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 and spectacular or whatever, fabulous or whatever, right? They're but, 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 but before the grace of God go I, I, I was raised in a crew that doesn't respect aesthetics. They thought anybody who, who, who cared about vanity was frankly kind of shallow. I was raised in a crew that valued intellectuality at all, above all else. Uh, I was raised in a crew that doesn't believe in pollution or governmental agencies that tell you what to do. You know, I, I was I, I lived on a biker commune for three and a half years. I was a lead singer in a punk band for eight years, like punk grunge band. Uh, was you know all this other stuff that I always talk about, right? And none of this was ever like gonna be this thing that 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 would ever be popular. I don't think. I don't think being a punk singer was ever gonna be. I don't think uh, I don't think playing long forms of fucking rust or whatever was going to be. I don't think I was ever going to be socially accepted like this. And I'm OK with that. But I can entertain the people like they do. And I can be happy like them. And I can give you moments and I can la make you laugh. I can do it like them. I've always been an entertainer. I, I share a lot in common with them, especially the eyes. One of the things about this is if you look, there's the same crazy eyes. See them? Same old big old green usually. See it? Green, big old eyes. Some of them are wearing contacts and stuff, but but all of them have those those fucking indigo children eyes. All of them. And so now, like, you know, now I, 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 I look at what I think is possible, but I would have to sell out to do so. And I don't wish to let my message go. I've been hurt by the cold too much. It is not some vengeance thing that I am after. It is a personal history to be validated in a way where I was never validated by data. Oh, I was validated by my close family, but I was never validated by my actual like survive, survive, sur surrounding huge family that much. It, it was when I was a child, but not past the age of like 12 or something like that. We were kind of like pariah, you know, and I, I would say that and, and I would say that my family did that. Not my close family and my mother and all that, but but everybody else kind of pariahed us. I would say my my, my inner circle kind of pariahed me in the end, in the end. I would say that my, my my other close friends kind of the people that I live with kind of pariahed with me in the end. My band kind of pariahed me, and I have done nothing but sing with these people, love with them, 
fight every battle with them all of their fucking lives done nothing but back them and everything they've ever done i have taken four felonies for my inner circle one of them is dead now like I, I've, I've taken you know i protected my crew from from bad bad felonies when i was a teenager and shit i have done nothing but but be there for these people but i don't know and, and there's day, there's times in my life when i push them away like right now but overall I don't I did not feel the acceptance here so I don't really accept anything they do I don't accept their government I don't accept their failures I don't accept their their video game companies like stealing from children and fucking us over I don't accept that that I need to be like these people I don't I don't accept that I need to straddle 10 poles I don't you know I, I don't accept it I don't I, I think I think we're doing okay you know trying to make creators like James Charles. Never, almost never do I do like an entire stream like this. I think I talked for 14 straight hours. I don't think I even played a video game. I almost never do this. It is because I have a lot of things to say today. You know, something happened today. The last, this is like the last time I'm going to let the triple anus fuck me. And, and I've been looking at my career a lot recently, like kind of looking at it, like what I wanted it to be, where I wanted to go, what was possible with it. And I look at these people that were successful with it. And I'm like, I don't think I share anything in common with you except for the laughs, the smiles, and the good times. That's it. The, the, the entertainer side of it. I think I share an enter entertainer's skill at it. But I do not believe I share the, the humanity or something. I believe my humanity has been burned out by, has been burned out by constant abuse by the system. And the fear of it. And the, and the, the treatment since i was 17 they've been after me for felonies and shit for drug possession and shit like that the treatment and all of it i just can't relate to these fucking goobers i, I can't i'm terribly sorry they're the goobers i can't relate you ever been shot at or fucking you know shit out and missed pissed at and hit or something you ever been shot at before because i have i'm looking around and there's not this patio's big and there's like i look at these people and i'm like yeah cool it must have been nice to be milk bread milk toast fucking milk drinking in the fucking suburbs all your life in la or something like that three three square meals a day and no poverty or anything anything a lower class no gang banging or fucking slinging dope or looking out for people or getting shot at or fucking you know pulled a knife on and robbed and shit getting robbed at night point your car stolen and shit like that nah these people don't live lives like that i didn't live life like that either that was just what randomly fucking happened to me it led to a disrespect and fear of the of, of the general populace you know I, I i got a lot of treatment that really wasn't very fair and so i and i'm not trying to be this martyr that, that whines or cries about it i'm just trying to describe why i am who i am why i talk about them the way i talk about them how i feel after they treated me how it felt for me and and i know i've got some other friends who felt the same you know lot available and i said it's fucking wednesday and i said nobody fucking look at this beautiful it's um the du neighborhood probably 17th and race 1700 job. south race oh, no one has a job look at us right now <laughs> we look super employed he was like i'm coming to get you we're going for a hike i was like i can't i have to work and i was like fuck it i'll vlog it <laughs> and we're working this is work and honestly it is because i even i oh look they're right on the drunken alley if i was able to bring a big ass vlog camera it's du and like a or not drunken alley i'm sorry that's um bannock right uh what i think of as the drunken alley in, in du is is in, is um the alley that goes up and down uh fucking university restaurant in la where everyone's going to be like looking not university me. evans evans sorry is the street evans that's creepy oh my god there's so many Baby. babies here yep oh my god it's soto what are you doing at soto all right the girls scored a table outside can you believe it elizabeth I am so fucking jealous of these fucking hipster douchebags and all their money. And not their money. I'm not jealous of the money. I'm jealous of the things that the money buys. Not the things that the money buys. I'm really not even greedy, right? I just want the smile on his face. Delicious. I don't think I can get it with money. <laughs> I'm certain I can't get it with money. I think I can get it with a woman. <laughs> but I don't think I can get it with money. <laughs> is it really sweet or is it not that sweet? And there's a lot of sugar, but I just can't tell. It's a lot of sugar, but you can't tell. <laughs> it's always aspartame or something dumb. I can't stand those drinks sometimes. They over sugar them. 
Oh, so on uh, 285 in Hampton, there's a super, super, super fucking good boba place. Strawberry Boba is the, is the name of the restaurant. But they're actually a pho. They're, they're like a pho restaurant. And oh my god, the strawberry bobas with my ex-girlfriend at the pho, uh, at the pho restaurant is like one of my favorite memories of all time. The strawberry bobas were so fucking good. And we went there like four times or something like that. Good times. I went there with both M and Cloud Candy. I love it. I think it's so delicious. I'm just wondering both M and or Summer and Cloud ca Cloud Candy. I'm wondering if it's sneaky sugary. Like, is there like 50 grams oh, of sugar and we don't know? I don't think it's sneaky sugary, but I do think I hate oatmeal. Is that oatmeal? Yeah. Do you not want it? I might go back and get a non oatmeal one. I'll drink that one if you don't want that one. How much caffeine is in latte? Oh, not much. <laughs> <laughs> Really? Why does your vagina hurt? I had the heating pad at four bed last night. Is that the correct term for what's actually hurting? Because no. we've discovered there's like eight different parts. Yeah, there's eight, eight different muscles, yeah. I think it's my pelvic floor. <laughs> I'm going to give you an overview of what this restaurant looks like. It's pretty gorgeous. Oh my god, soda. Oh my god. Did you get it? I love Denver. Yeah. Is it the same one without oatmeal? No. What'd you get? You'll See all the fucking culture on the fucking sidewalk cafes and shit? It's so awesome. See? Wait, you just pivoted? Yeah. Completely? Uh -huh. Wow. <laughs> Did you film how beautiful my brioche bun is? Honestly, it's so gorgeous that it's making me regret like trying to be healthy. I got a power scramble. It's a fucking SUV. Wow. I think mine's gonna be good too. It's not gonna be as good as last. Yeah. Ooh, shit. Thank you. Soda is so good. Uh, I took my ex girlfriend to this place. I got an iced chai latte with soy milk. I, rem I remember. Delicious. Ooh, so is this. Yep. Chai latte. Wow. I think it just has like. I love.